be 1698679967. Now, what's well, something else I think we want to tell you about as well? Let's have a look at this next item because we didn't mention this earlier on, did we? We've got the Take Three Colours. This is a watercolour mountains book. You get the DVD as well. Now, great saving on this one. I'm just going to, I don't want to take any time up from Matthew, but I'm just going to open a couple of pages of the book so you can see the sort of thing that's in here as well. So a great price at 18 59 Again, all of this, 271 506 is the item number. Now we are going to, uh, oh, don't forget you do get the DVD in there as well. I don't know how long that one is, Matthew. Do you know roughly sort of the time on that so, one? So, yeah, so that DVD, it's around about 90 minutes and you get um, three projects, two from the book plus one that's not in the book. Amazing. Nine, nine projects in the book, all using three colours and three brushes. Fabulous. You can see those three colours on the front there, actually. 271506. Let's have another reminder of the SAA. Of course, if you're joining through a Chanda, you will get that free gift of the fantastic brushes as well. If you want to gift, you can also gift. Just scroll down through the description, find where it's there. it says click here for the SAA membership. If you click on there, that will take you through to another link and then just simply click on join now. That's for a whole year as well, a whole year. Do you know, well worth looking at that. Right, now there's something rather exciting about to happen. Ooh, I think. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you, almost a quarter of the one day special has already gone. This is the launch show, remember. Do make sure you check those baskets out. Don't miss out on this. I'm quite nervous now. You know the white fear that you talk of, Matthew? You can smell the excitement, to be fair. I am really excited, or is, or is but I do fear? have the That's white the fear. fear at the moment. It's the fear. Um, well, I'm going to go to the pub, you can paint that. <laughs> oh, actually, the pubs are closed, so forget that. I'll paint a picture with you, shall I? <laughs> so let's get rid of that one then, and then okay. we'll bring in here. So what I've done here, folks, and this is not a bad thing if you're a beginner, um, to have a sheet of watercolour paper that is half the size of what we've got. Now, I'm not saying you're a beginner, but it's a good well, size. Well, I am. <laughs> it's a good size to work on. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to do a similar thing to what we've just done, actually. Okay. I want to take some masking tape. Yours is kind of stuck to the front of the... Easel. Oh, I see. Um, yep. There you go. And basically, just sort of stick it to your fingers a few times just to remove the stickiness. Okay. And a, a couple of inches up the paper, just kind of press it down, press okay. it across. So we're not sort of curving this at all? No, we'll just go kind for a, a little... nice clean horizon and we're going to paint in okay. a bit of an evening sky um, with the large tree and texture brush. So if you okay. give it a good rinse. Mine's on a bit more of a slant than yours. Does it matter? Um, no, it's okay. That's called an, art, an artistic slant. It's Is fine. It? it works for me. It works for me. So if you pick up the tree brush... I'm it, being asked in the gallery, how did I manage to do it that wonky? I did it on purpose. It's a good start. It was meant to be wonky. It's, a good it's an start. artistic slant. It's a good start. Let's wet. Okay, which brush have you got it's there? It's the big tree brush. Big tree brush. Yeah, let's just give it a rinse and give it a uh, wet the piece of paper. You can't go wrong with this. Do you know, I was going to change the artistic slump, but now to spite the gallery, I'm I leaving think you exactly where it is. Yours will come out better than this one. <laughs> so if you, wet the, if you wet the sheet of paper, wet it all the way down. Just using a good <laughs> bit of water. A couple of times because it's cotton paper, remember. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in just a little bit of the violet. A little bit now of violet. Now you're matching here, aren't you? You've got matching outfit. Uh, pure coincidence. I had no idea what we were doing. And I thought it was scripted. What we'll do is we'll go for the violet, okay? So if you sort of tap off the excess on the side of the sort of water pot a little bit, shake the drips off, then we'll take, no comment, what we'll do is we'll take the, we'll take the <laughs> violet, we'll, we'll take the violet and we'll mix it in to the middle of the palette, not too strong. A little bit more on yours, so I think. A bit more. Yeah. Did I not get enough of those drips off? Is that the problem? I think there was too many shakes, maybe. Oh, too well, not many? Not enough shakes, possibly. And then we'll go to the top, and what we'll do is we'll put a line of this across. Now, that's a sign. <laughs> that's a sign of a good paper, because it stays put. OK, I'm really across scared now, Matthew. I am, I can smell it. What you do is... <laughs> <laughs> and we'll bring it down. We'll bring it down. OK. Backwards and and we'll just basically things. leave a few little white bits here and there to give some, some cloud. That's it. Okay. Keep going. Keep and going. eventually... Your brush should start to run out of colour. Is that right? Well, keep yes. going. Keep going. Yeah, I've keep going. I've gone a bit further than you. Is that that's all right? right? Yeah, keep going until right. you run out of space. Okay. And that's like a good nighttime sky. Now, at this point, if you had a coin wrapped in tissue, you could give it a stamp and you get the moon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got to paint your hand as well, I mean. <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll, we'll clean the brush. I might do a better job on my hand. You never yeah. know. 
clean, clean the, brush, the brush. Clean the brush. Give it a good old stir around. Wipe off the excess. Shake off the drips again. There you go. <laughs> then we'll go into the uh, light green and we'll take a good thick blob of that green. Okay. A good thick blob. Thick. So oh, we've got six minutes see. left, Matthew. Where's the time gone? S 60 minutes. We could do a masterpiece <laughs> in 60 minutes. Six minutes. Oh, six minutes. Mix it around. Mix it around. Okay. So it's going slow, this show. Mix it around. Yep. And give it a good stipple. Make sure the paint's nice and thick at this point. Give it a good squash. It's called bashing the brush. Is it? Yeah. Bash the brush. Oh, you're being more aggressive, apparently. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you take a look at your brush, have you bashed it? You can see it's got a bit of a... I don't think I've bashed it enough. Bit of a slope <laughs> on the side. <laughs> is it after watershed yet? And what we'll do is we'll, we'll stipple some trees. Yeah. So we'll do <laughs> use the flat part of the brush, this part of the brush. Right, okay. And we'll stipple nice and gently. This is about halfway up. Imagine the shapes of the trees. Oh, you're going right across. Right across. Imagine it's like a caterpillar going across your picture. You see what I mean by that? Like a bit of a wiggly sort of line kind of thing. And then stipple it down. All the way to the bottom. The thicker the better with the paint at this point. And you basically fill that section in. I filled all my corner in. Are you, you going to fill your corner Yeah, I want to fill it you? in, yeah. Oh, phew. There you go. <laughs> There you go. We've got two filled corners. And you can okay. see there. Oh, for a minute, I thought that was yours on the screen and it's mine. <laughs> there you are, you see? You've <laughs> you impressed yourself. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now, oh, you've really once filled you've it. kind of filled it in, don't clean your brush. Go straight in, straight in to the brown, the warm sepia. Take a little bit, not a huge amount, and mix it in with the green so you get darker. Okay. It turns the green almost like an olive green, lovely for trees, lovely oh, for love olive sort green. of foliage, that kind of thing. So mix it into the green so it yeah. goes quite a bit darker. And again, give it a good old stipple. And this time we'll start at the bottom. We'll start right on the tape edge and we'll stipple along the tape edge like so. And you're sort of painting like shadows, if you like, in the trees. Adding some darkness. Adding some darkness. Oh, can we stop the clock, please? It's going too fast. We haven't got long left, Matthew. You keep stepping that darkness in, yeah? A bit more. Just ever so gently. And then gently. slightly work up towards the top. But sort of ease off the pressure as you go higher. Okay. So it gets a little bit lighter. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it gives you like more of an individual. But it puts like layers, and that's a very similar technique to what we've just done. And then hopefully on your um, bedside cabinet that you've got <laughs> down there, which is your little painting box, um, we've got a plastic card. I've actually got an SAA membership card. I'm going to use that. And just as we did on the previous picture, we're going to take this and have a good old scrape of some branches. Oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. You can do your palette knife. And the thicker the paint, the better at this point, yeah? So just basically use the corner of the knife. This this corner? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Okay. Use the point of it and just go up and then scrape away some of the branches and it'll just lift the colour off. Is it I working I don't think I'm scraping you? hard enough. <laughs> oh, that's better. We have plenty of pressure, yeah, don't be afraid to... Uh, there. Let me look at yours, Matthew. Okay, right. It depends the... how wet or dry the paint is, really. Oh, we've got less than two minutes left. I've got to, I've got to say, I'm not blaming any tools or anything, because the tools are great. It, I'm not so great, but I am stood at a very strange angle to how I would if I was doing this normally. Why don't you lift normally. your board up and sort of... Uh, yeah, that, I'm not so happy about the main trunk. I think it's a little bit... But let me look at yours, Matthew. Look how easy you make it look. If you take the tape off, you can see it leaves that nice clean edge, you see. We've got to say, Matthew, actually, that for anyone that doesn't know, that you are self-taught. Yes, yeah. I started painting when I were a little sprogging nappers. 
I still am. It's a long story. <laughs> we'll talk about that another day. <laughs> um, oh, we've got just over a minute left. Oh, I'm not very good at the scraping there. Perfect. No, it's good. It's good. It works well. But it's just nice that you can create... I mean, trees used to baffle me. If I go back many, many years, summer trees I found very difficult. But now, when I got the chance to design my own brushes, that was the thing that really made the difference. You know, and having tools that make... All the challenges that I came across as a learning artist, having these tools then would have been such a massive thing, you know, but obviously they were not around, but now... Oh, I've got to stop. I'm going to get told off otherwise. Can I pull the tape off as nice well? Nice and Can steady, I do that? nice and steady. Nice and steady. Right, as Bowling I'm Kersley just doing Thomas. this and doing the big reveal, back at 8 o'clock, of course, Alex and Matthew will be here. Do you know, I quite like that slant. Is it grown on you? That looks all right. It's good. It's good. I really enjoyed that. Well Do you know what? Seriously. Look at that. I'm, I'm well pleased with that, actually. You should be. Oh, what a lovely hour. It really was. Check those baskets out. Don't forget, of course, we've got lots of goodies for you. Go for some extra paints as well. Matthew, see you at eight. Don't go to work. I'm coming up by again later. It's not later, I'm coming up next because we've got Dovetail London Fabrics and then of course Matthew is back with Alex at 8 o'clock and then we've got a happy hour with Dolly Dimples. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. On our shows on Hochanda, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows on Hochanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design Shows on Hochanda. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So if you watch Hachanda, you'll see us put together and decorate our designs to inspire you so that you can make your own crafting projects. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows on the channel. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company 
launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hello, from one lovely set to another, because of course we've got Dovetailed London with us now, talking all about those African wax fabrics and a very special book as well that's written by our very special guest. Shall we say good evening to Darko? I did pronounce that right, didn't I? You did, thank you. Lovely. I've got to say, you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. <laughs> you do. I saw that dress and one of the mannequins earlier, and I, I fell in love with it when I saw it from the, across the studio. I thought how stunning it was. Well, I've been a bit spoiled today, I have to say, because you know. I'm these have been made um, some time ago now, over the course of maybe six months in sort of batches. And I've literally had a, a choice of, of whichever one I've wanted to wear. Oh, how So lovely. I wore the green one, um, which I think is just there this, this you afternoon. You were in the pinafore, weren't yes, you, really? I'm just going to lift that up, I was actually. definitely going to change for the evening. <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? Look at that. The colours are absolutely gorgeous. Now, we are talking about the African wax fabrics, uh, Adarko, and we're talking about your book as well today, which is a very beautiful book, I've got to say. Thank you. The details are on the screen. Now, before we go into that, can you just tell us a little bit about your background? Because you didn't kind of just sort of build into this as such, did you? What were no. you beforehand? No. So before um, starting my business, Dovetailed London, I had been a barrister for 15 years. And um, it was after being on maternity leave for the second time. I was just thinking about something else that I could do um, that might fit around a young family um, more easily. And I was actually watching an episode of The Sewing Bee one okay, afternoon. Yeah. Um, this was in 2016. And so um, I was intrigued by what I, I saw. Uh, you know, I didn't really understand a lot, a lot of what they were saying um, because they were talking about cutting on the bias or they were talking about right sides together. And, you know, it was, it was a new language. It was yeah, just completely course. different to anything that I'd come across before. But I was intrigued. And then about a month later, I saw an advert for um, evening classes in textiles at my local adult learning center. And I thought, hang on, I know tech textiles. That's what I saw on the phone. <laughs> I'd kind of got, I'd got that far. And so I, <laughs> I took some classes, and that was that. And I wow. took more classes and more classes and more classes, and yeah. And I was then just completely you started hooked. your business and you haven't looked back since mm. and in a relatively short time as well. And now a book, I mean this just says it all, doesn't it? Let's have a little look at this book because this is, truly, this is beautiful. I think it's a must-have. Now, this book will be dispatched from the 5th of March. Now, this is absolutely beautiful. When you see the pictures in here, but also, of course, you're getting the patterns in there, full-size patterns, so you don't have to rescale. Now, the sizes incorporated are from size 8 to 26. Now, Adarko, we've got not just clothing in here. I've noticed there's all sorts of accessories and Draft. bags as well. Yep. Makeup bag there, I can yep. see. Yep. Very easy wearable clothing as well. Yes. Yes. Absolutely beautiful, and of course, all made with those gorgeous fabrics. I mean, the colours are just tremendous, aren't they? I recognise some of these fabrics from a previous show, show. Actually, as well. <laughs> In fact, I did buy some last time. I'll I bought some of that one. And the clots pattern. 
that was available at the time. And you oh. might get to see me wearing them one day. Who knows? But this is wonderful. And only eleven ninety nine. There you can see that pinafore that we men mentioned earlier and that we've got here in the studio. A three pound saving today. Seven zero four nine four zero. Oh, that skirt was beautiful. Uh, I can tell you as well the price. We have got a saving there, but tomorrow eight pm that price will go up. Don't know if we'll see it back with a reduction on it again. Over half the stock has gone on this book. This is absolutely incredible. And I've got to say, Adeko, as well, I was watching a little bit earlier when I was prepping for a previous show and you were on with Alex on the earlier show. I did hear you say that you've tried to keep the projects in here without having to use too many of the notions. By that's notions, right. we mean too many zips yeah. and buttons and that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. So it's achievable by yes. everyone, really. Yes. But even if you're, you're quite new to your sewing. I'd say so. I'd say so. Um, most of the projects do require something extra, whether it's a zip or whether it's a, you know, some buttons or some fleece. But these are notions that you can use again and again. And yeah. even if you're relatively new, you're likely to have much of it already. Of or course. It, or yeah, at least of course some of it. You, know, you may well have your zips already or the buttons already or you've got some buttons somewhere. You, know, you can just use that. You don't necessarily have to sort of go out and buy lots of stuff at all. Amazing. Well, yeah. I'm not surprised it's been so busy. Item number 704940. Brand new today. Take advantage of that savings. That will go up tomorrow. Now, we've got some fabrics for you as well. Of course, you want those fabrics to go with the book. Now, we're looking, first of all, there's actually two yards here. The prices on these are just incredible. I don't know how it's done, actually. They are stunning. I mean, look at the colours, look at the designs. Oh, there's that one I was pointing at in the book, look. Now, 14.99 is going to get you the two yards. This is African wax print fabric. The first one I would show you is the netting on blue. Oh, I love that blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. The next one, we've got the pops of colour. Beautiful in the, the red, the blue, the white and the yellow all in there as well. You've almost got that sort of sepia colour in the background. The next one is Birds of Paradise. I think you can see why it's been called that. Isn't that gorgeous? Then coming up next, very colourful again. We've got the green leaves. Now the pinafore that we did show was made in this one as well. Absolutely gorgeous with the pink and the green together. And then we've got Nasubra. Is that how we pronounce that in the super so, uh, means ripple effect I see. so um, there are a couple of in fact, there's more than a couple there's lots of African print designs that have this sort of ripple effect look so if you look at the blue in the circle I don't know if we can maybe get a closer look at that you can see that it resembles it resembles um, how water will look when a pebble has been dropped yeah. in so you get the ripple effect yes that's what Insubra yeah, means. You can see yeah. that. Beautiful again. Well, these fabrics, you can use them, of course, for your projects, for your dressmaking, of course, for your bags, all those accessories. These are the fabrics that have been used throughout the book as well. So two yards, if you want to buy this, you know, and you want to buy multiples, you can do well. We've got the stocks as well. 14 99 yep. is the price. Seven eight nine one one six. Now, say... we do also have a pick and mix for you. So with the pick and mix, you can choose any two, and you're getting a yard of each. So it's the same colours, the same designs, but you'll get a yard of each. There we go, 14 210018 Do you have a favourite, Adarko? Mm. Of the ones on the yeah. table? I would have to say Insubra, that's my favourite. Is it? This yeah. one? I just They're love that combination of brown. It's so rare, that sort of brown with orange and blue. Yeah. Oh, that's just stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, now we're moving down again because we've got something else to show you as well. Oh, I recognise this from Alex's dress that she was wearing. Now you are actually getting four yards of this. This is beautiful. Look at this, four yards for $29.98. Now this again is your African wax print fabric. This is the flower garden. Now, I don't know if you did see the earlier show, but uh, Alex was wearing one of the dresses that Adarko had made and, and this was featured in that dress, wasn't it, Adarko? Oh, is it at the back of you now? We will be able to see that in a second, we'll but look that. at the detail in this print. It is stunning. That blue, the pinks, the reds in there as well. <laughs> Only under that item number, of course, 145622 if you want to go for this one. Four yards there. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of yardage. Let's go to the website because that's where you're going to see everything. I've just spotted some more fabrics I really, really like. Look at that one. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh, are they, they're not on this show. I don't know if we've got stocks of those, but we can see five-star reviews there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Do have a look at the book, of course. Do think about the fabrics that you're going for. There are 25 projects in that book alone. Now, we've got lots of upsells for you as well. So we're talking about things like the Fiskars, the blade there, the rotary cutter. We've got scissors for you, the adjustable dress form. We've also even got uh, a quilting kit along with this little sewing machine. I've never seen that before. Ooh. Oh, I've never seen that before. That's a, that's a new one to me. So we've got lots and lots for you to see, but of course we want to see demonstrations as well. Don't forget to check your baskets out. This is the second and final hour for, of course, Dovetailed today. Uh, Darko, well, I'm, well, I don't know when she'll be back again. Hopefully not too long. But of course you can be popping everything into your basket and checking out. And before you know it, you'll be making the projects in this book if that's what you're going for. Right, over to demonstration. What will we see, first of all? So today I'm going to be making the uh, pencil case. Is... Oh, lovely. Here it is. Oh, that's nice. All right. That's beautiful. Um, and I'm going to be making it in this fabric. This is the fabric that the bag behind you is in. Oh, right, yeah, OK. Um, so essentially what you will have... OK are three pieces for the lining one two three lovely three pieces of outer fabric one two three and then three pieces of fleece right. and you will have at page 76 the cutting guide for Wonderful. Yeah. each of those pieces first step is to fuse your interfacing to your outer fabric. Okay. Um, with the pencil case that I've just shown, I used the waterproof fabric for the top band. This time I haven't. You know, the beauty of these is that you can completely mix and match. You can play around. You can use, um, as I have done with this pencil case, you can have waterproof um, fabric for the band here at the top and then African print for the front and the back. Alternatively, you could have waterproof fabric here and then African print for the... You can Lovely. completely... So any of, of the fabrics that we've got on the show would work for this project? Any of those fabrics would work. And so the first step is to... This is your back. So the larger piece is your back. The back. Okay, lovely. And then you have the band and the bottom front. The zip will sit in between the two. First thing to do is to stitch these two together. Okay. Lovely. I believe it's a one centimeter se seam allowance. It is for most of them. Yes. So one centimeter seam allowance across there. Using your long stitch length because we're going to unpick some of it okay. later. So that's important then to use a longer stitch length. Longer stitch length. Lovely. So it's almost like a tacking or a basting stitch in exactly. a sense. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Go. So nice and simple. Would you say then, Adarko, that the projects in the book, if someone was just starting, they've just got a sewing machine for the first time, they've done a few basic projects, they could achieve anything that's in this yeah, book? Yeah, pretty much. Lovely. Yeah. I think, you know, you've got some of the dresses, you may want to build up to those, but there's something for people at every stage. Yeah, and if you're a bit more experienced, I suppose you could add some further detail if you wanted to exactly. as well, or change things around a little bit. Yeah. We all love a good hack, <laughs> as we say. Lovely. So those two pieces are joined together. Those two pieces are joined together. Um, I will now press this seam. I'll try and do it here. Probably shouldn't, should I? Okay. Let's see, just so you can. There we are. So press with an iron so it's nice and open. When you're um, attaching the interfacing to the um, outer fabric, um, no steam on the iron, just a dry okay, iron, yeah. otherwise you'll get a kind of bubble, kind of... It, yes, it'll affect it, won't yep. it, the bond of it. Lovely, nice, neat seam there. But we do know we're going to unpick some of this, don't we? Yes, we're going to unpick some of it. So then, next step is to take your zip. 
And again, you can, you know, have different colours. I've gone for a blue zip here. You can I have... with such beautiful fabrics, though, you could really go crazy with, go the, crazy. with the zips. Go crazy. So you'll just centre the zipper teeth onto that seam. Okay, And yeah. pin in place. So the actual zip itself is centralised over the stitch line and you centralise the zip sort of from the left and the right in the centre across the width of the fabric. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. And this is uh, step two on page 76. You know, I've opened the book so I can follow along with you as well. Well, I thought it would help just so that when, when, when people do get it home, they sort of remember or, or they can, you know, watch back. And then what you'll do from the right side is to stitch a rectangle so you can feel just before this silver end here yeah you'll stitch That's but from the right stopper, side isn't it? the stopper yeah. thank you and then using a quarter of an inch you'll just run a stitch line across okay and you'll keep going until just after the pull and then come back okay, across the yeah. top again the there is a picture showing you at step three on page 79 what the stitch is supposed to look like how the okay, stitch is supposed yeah. to look and then once you've done that you'll carefully unpick to reveal your zip right lovely and that's going to be neatly in place for you Hopefully. so it's important to do that sort of basting stitch first to make sure everything's sat in the correct position yes nothing moves yes and you don't want to make the um the stitch too small because then it, it's just a bit trickier yeah. to unpick. Okay. Well, details on the screen, of course, for the book. A £3 saving. Remember, that price will go up at 8 p.m. tomorrow, so grab this while you can. It's been very busy today. Over half of the stock has gone. Only 11 99 There are 25 individual projects in there. And as you can see by the front of the book, vibrant projects because, of course, if you're using these gorgeous fabrics. Do you know, there is so much in this book as well. You do get all the patterns, and I've just got to remind you as well, these go from size 8 right through to 26. These are full-size patterns as well, so you don't have to start rescaling. We are talking anything from skirts, as you can see on the front there. There's different shaped skirts as well, some a little bit more flared than others. You've got tops in here, all easily wearable as well. Nothing too intricate with the means of making them as well. That pencil case that uh, Adark has shown us right now as well. Do you know, it's lovely just to look at the pictures and see all these gorgeous colours as well. Really lovely. Look how many photographs are in here, step by step, just stunning. It gives you an idea as well as some of the fabrics maybe that we've got on the show. I'm just looking across at the fabrics we've got and I can definitely see we've got some of them in stock today, including the ones that you're looking at now actually, for the Lottie Colots. They're lovely. So easily to wear something like this, Adarko, because they are very comfortable, aren't they? Just a little bit of elastic around the waist so they're easy to adjust as well. Yep. Yes, yes. Wonderful. I'm just having a, I don't want to share too much because I always think it spoils things when you get this home. <laughs> but it works out at just 48 pence per project. Oh, I like the bag in the ripple fabric. That's the one we've got on the That's show, just isn't it? That's cute, isn't it? Sophie's shoulder bag. That's beautiful. Amazing. It's even things like scrunchies for your hair in there as well. So something for every occasion, I would say. 704940. Are you all right there, Dad? No, I keep forgetting that I should be in the middle here, oh. shouldn't I? I'm driving, <laughs> <laughs> driving them mad, I bet. <laughs> so we can see the stitch line that you're doing now, then, down one yep. side of the zip. Yes. You, you will have to fiddle around with the pull. It's just always the yeah. way with these zips. And you might want to just sort of stop, go back, and then come back, because once it's in... Um, Moving it around isn't that difficult. So I presume at this yeah. point it's important to keep that needle down in the fabric so you yes, can pivot it just on that allows you to lose the space. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. 
lovely. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is catch the the actual zip pull no. itself on your needle, so you need to make sure it's out of the way. Yeah. Stitch a bit and then get it out of the way. Yeah. I'm trying to do. Now, if anybody's watching and they've made something from previous shows, please do send some pictures in. You know, I really ought to make my clots, then I can send my picture in. I need to wear them here. Everybody on that day was like, oh, I want a pair of those, I want a pair of those. <laughs> I did say I'd maybe see if I could get around to making everybody some, but I've not even made my own yet. But that's not because I don't love the fabric. These fabrics are absolutely gorgeous. They really, truly, and I think the price point is amazing as well. When you think you've got African wax print fabrics here, the details on the screen are for the book, but remember we've got various different options on the fabrics because there is an option where there's two yards. Let's have a look at those fabrics again, actually. Sorry. Two yards for $14.99. You've got all these different choices as well. Let's just go through those names again. Netting on blue. I'm loving that blue. Pops of colour, which is absolutely beautiful. I know Paula had around that last time. Birds of Paradise, this is stunning. Then you've got the green leaves. And then, of course, you've got the Insubra or Ripple Effect, which I now can totally appreciate why it's called that as well. Now, the other option is, of course, if you want to go for the pick and mix, you can go for any two and get a yard of each. So we'll bring the details up for that for you as well. So you have got the choice there. 210018 if you're going for the pick and mix. So any two for 14 99 So that's still two full yards, of course, you're getting, but you've got two different types of fabric. Maybe you want to make a pencil case and you want to do it all with these fabrics as well and really mix around those different patterns. Wonderful. Don't forget as well, we've also got that beautiful fabric, four yards of our wonderful fabric here. Let's just move across and show you these because we've got, oh, this is stunning. Oh, if you didn't see the show earlier on, do watch it on Rewind and catch Alex wearing this beautiful dress this fabric was uh, created from. Lovely. You've got those designs that I can almost imagine sort of cutting these out as well and stitching, maybe putting a little bit of um, wadding underneath there, maybe a plique, in, a larger plique, of course, or picking out some detail, maybe adding some beads or something like that, some metallic threads, that would look lovely. £29.98 will get you four yards of this particular design. 145622 is the item number. Now, I think uh, just as Adirka was uh, sorting out the zip, we've got some more wonderful samples behind us as well here. We've got tops. We've got the bag that I've just shown you, actually. Actually, that's a larger size than I thought it was going to be. Looking at the picture, that's a lovely. That's one in the book. So is the top. All of these are in the book, I believe. And you can see we've got some of these fabrics available on the show today. So we can see we've got the Birds of Paradise in one of the tops there as well. Now, I think we're just going to go to a freedom video. Just remind you about freedom. If you've not joined yet, certainly you can do. Let's tell you all about it, just in case you don't know. Here we go. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Oh, I'm just looking at Leonie there in her blue dress, which is beautiful, but I can really see Leonie in some of these fabrics as well. Let's have a reminder about the book. This has been so busy today. I'm not surprised. It's been absolutely flying out. The price of 11 99 it really is a snip, isn't it? There is a £3 saving today. Now, this will be available, as long as we've got the stocks, of course, after this show, but the price will go up at 8 p.m. tomorrow, so it will go back to 14 99 So take advantage of this now. It's still a great price at 14 99 I think it's worth every single penny the fact that you've got those pattern pieces in there these are true to size pattern pieces as well so you haven't got to resize them start tracing them out changing them and you can see there at the bottom on the chart they do go from a size 8 right through to a UK size 26 now I'm not going to show you every single pattern in here or every single design again but I do want you to appreciate the variant 
variants we've got here because of course that dress there which is absolutely beautiful you could change the length of these I suppose as well how much would you pay for a pattern I'm just thinking when I used to do a lot of sewing before long before my TV days I used to do a lot of sewing I used to make my own clothes even then and I'm going back quite a few years the patterns were very very expensive actually they'd be at least at the time I'm trying to think now I would say I'd pay anything between seven and twelve pounds per pattern now these work out at 48 pence yes pence each I love those pants I think they look so comfortable to wear they really do and Adarko did say earlier they've tried to keep of course to the minimal amount of different notions so you know you haven't got too many fiddler zips and and different sort of fit, fittings and that sort of thing there will be some in there of course it wouldn't be dressmaking without them but without going to town with too much fiddliness so this will work for everyone even if you're quite new to soft crafting even if you've not stitched before maybe this is somewhere you want to start I mean those step by steps you can see placement of pins how to baste you know lining up your patterns oh there's that dress that um, Alex was wearing earlier actually in that gorgeous fabric we've got on the show. Do you know there really is something for everyone here as well. Perhaps you'll be making for the whole family. Perhaps you'll be making uh, gifts for people as well. The bag, I know we've got that behind me as well in the studio. That is beautiful. Any of the fabrics that we've got available tonight, you can create any of these projects with that fabric of course. Now we do have a lot of the clothing here in the studio as well. So maybe we'll take a little bit of time to have a look at some of these as well. Now, I know Adarka was wearing the pinafore earlier on, which looked very comfortable, I've got to say. This has been done in one of the fabrics that we've got available tonight as well. This is the green leaves. Love that because the pink and the green together just work so well, don't they? Really, really nice. Again, looks very comfortable to wear. I can see our Lottie wearing something like this. She likes the pinafores. I do, actually. I've got a few pinafores. They're, oh, the pants are here that I was talking about. These look so comfortable. Nice and roomy. You can see at the top on the waistband where the elastic does go. You can adjust that. You can adjust the size. I should imagine as well, I will check in a little while, that if you wanted to sort of adjust the width of the legs as well, that's probably quite easy to do if you wanted to think about doing that. Then, of course, when it comes to the dresses, we've got some beautiful designs again here for you. Again, I think comfort is the word that springs to mind when I look at these because there's nothing that's tight fitting saying that though you know you've got shaping here you've got beautiful detail as you can see how the pleats go into the cuff on this particular one that looks really really lovely absolutely gorgeous then moving on again we've, we've got one of the skirts here now this one there's a lot of fabric in this one actually oh look at that fabric it's got an iron on it I hadn't realized that till I picked it up that hangs beautifully doesn't it absolutely gorgeous that is really nice just look at the amount of fabric in there how lovely is that and then of course we've got another skirt here as well let me just bring this one in another one with elasticated waist just you know, still generous in the fabric there so it's going to be nice to wear you can see you have easy movement in there all these styles and all these garments of course are part of that book for just 11.99 we've had a question as well about the fabrics now, if we buy more than one of the same, will it be a continuous length? Yes, but only up to six yards. Lovely. But six yards is enough. That, that's just a lot of six yards. how yeah. they come. <laughs> okay, so yes, who, who did send that in? That was Winnie. Thank you, Winnie, for that question. Glad you didn't ask that, actually, because we often say, don't we, we, do, we can't always offer that. But yes, up to six yards, it will be one continuous length. So maybe you've got a particular project in mind. I'd love to know what you're thinking of. Right, Adarko, how are you getting on? Not too bad. Okay, so we, we're going down the other side of the zip. Yes. I'm, it's a bit fiendish getting the... Um, yes, I'm having some issues with the pull, but I'll get there. <laughs> we're getting I there. We will get there. Lovely, we will. Live TV, it's <laughs> always the same, doesn't matter what you're doing, there's always some little hiccup along the way. Now, just as we, we let Adarko get ready there, I think we'll just have a look at some seven-day savers for you as well, because these end on Sunday. What day is it today? It's Friday, isn't it, already? I've lost track this week. Right, we've got some great ones available as well. We have got the Trimit Stranded Cotton. This, oh, wow, that's a good buy. 200 skeins, you've got eight metres. 
on each of those skeins. Wow, that is really is a good buy. $19.99, they're from Trimits. Then we've got the Pink Frog watercolour card. We've got 80 sheets there, 280 GSM. Good saving there once again. $15.99, five stars on that as well. Oh, our Sylvia emailed in earlier. She said, go for the Walter Strong Jumbo Reel of permanent foam tape because it's an essential. That's what she said. $9.99, great price on that. Then we've got Crafty Devils as well, the Stampers Bundle. You've got more cardstock in that one, 300 GSM. We've got lots of goodies here. I haven't seen half of these. We've got a storage box there for some of your sewing needs. We've got Gutterman or Gutterman threads. I don't know. I've never worked out how you pronounce that. That is a brand that has been around a long, long time. Gutterman's or Gut I'm sure they used to put two T's in it, you know. Uh, 19 99 you're getting 10 spools there, 150 metres in each. We've got Crafted Devils again. This is a great buy, actually. Uh, the Magnetic Bundle. If you're wanting the Magnetic Bundle for your dies or, you know, for making your magnets, you know, lots of uses here. you also got those smaller magnets in there. Some are for your stamping platforms, some are smaller, so you can use them for all sorts of projects. And we do have, of course, Sentimentally Yours, the Stamping Special Box Kit. Now, Phil will be back tomorrow as well, because it is a Sentimentally Yours anniversary weekend. But you can get your box kit for $14.98. We've even got Art Inspirations Wednesday. Wednesday's made there as well. I always want to say Wendy, but it's not. It's Wednesday made. The A5 stamp sets, the Mindful Lady, and we've got the Garland and something else there. I can't read it, but it's not there on the screen. But it's there for you if you want to buy it. £29.97. Yeah, click on the picture and all will be revealed. <laughs> oh. oh, we're going to have a look. There it is. Mindful Lady Garland and Flower Embellishments. <laughs> Wow, that's a good price as well, isn't it? Great savings there. Right, they will disappear on Sunday if they don't disappear beforehand, of course. And new ones launched at 8 o'clock on Sunday. How are we doing, Adarko? Not bad. Nearly there. Lovely. Nearly there, nearly there. It's always easier. <laughs> now, that fabric that you're yeah. using, actually, yeah. I don't know if that's available. We haven't got it on the show today. I don't know if it's on the website, but we have seen it in the past, haven't we? When I thought so. I did think so. It could be on the website. We'll see if we can find out. If you do shop by a brand, of course, you can see all of the products. Just because they're not on our counter doesn't necessarily mean we don't have them. It is well worth checking out everything that you see on the website. So we have got that beautiful blue zip in there as well. Do you know, I love to see the contrast of colours in these fabrics. I think anything goes, doesn't it? You've got all bright colours that you can team with your black so that makes the colours pop. In this case, a bright blue zip to go with the red, but well, there is blue in the fabric as well. Now, you're using a, a stitch and picker there, I see. Yeah, I'll the just um, start opening it up so that I can pull. It's just this um, tab okay. that's getting in the way. So I've already I've pulled that down. So I can carry on. And of course, the first part of this demonstration was to stitch the two Ooh. panels together, but with a long stitch because it is intentional that you unpick that. I think we're having a few little uh, issues with the sewing machine tonight, not to worry. Let's just give you the details again of the book because, you know, I'm going to lay this one down and pick my copy up so I can flick this one through then it's not in the way. I don't want to sort of flick through both because, well, it just spoils it, doesn't it? To keep opening them out and flicking through. I don't want to spoil these beautiful, beautiful books. The photography in here is incredible. Look at those colours. Do have a look at the fabrics we've got available tonight. Many of them are featured in this book, of course. Others may be available on the website. If there's something else that takes your fancy, do have a look for it. The top that we're looking at here, actually, the one that's on uh, the picture, we can see actually that's a darker wearing it there as well. This one is available. That's our pops of colour, I believe. Uh, what else can I find in here? There's the one. Oh, there's the skirt with the iron. Do you know? That's the front cover, and I didn't even realise it was the iron. I just look at the beautiful colours. And do you know what struck me about that skirt? It was the amount of fabric in it and how beautifully it hangs. There are those very comfortable pants. That's the bird of paradise. We have this one as well. That is available on tonight's show. That is a beautiful, beautiful fabric. Birds of paradise. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Now, the sleeves on that dress there, if you did see Alex wearing that dress earlier, this was the one I think Adarko was showing us how to do those sleeves as well, those cuffs. Really lovely detail on that one. And just go through. Just a reminder again, all your pattern pieces range from size 8 right up to size 26. That's UK sizes, of course. There's that bag again. That is real. When you see the sample in the studio, that is a really generous size bag, actually. It's really nice. Love it. All these fabrics, of course, not just for your fabric, uh, not just for your dressmaking, for your accessories. There's hair scrunches in here. We've seen eye masks. We've seen um, face masks as well. We've seen the pencil case and the various different bags. Skirts, trousers, 25 individual projects. 704940. Now, we've had a really good question come in. This is from Maria. Ah, this is a good question. I was going to ask this, actually, and I forgot. Um, do we need to wash the fabric before sewing? Yes. Um, maybe not so much with a bag. Okay. But with clothes, yes, I would. It just softens the fabric. And also, it's generally good practice to pre-shrink. That's what I was taught. I was taught with any okay, fabric, yeah. pre-shrink it before you cut and sew. Because if you don't, um, once you've cut it and sewn your garment, and then you will eventually have to wash it, it would have shrunk. Not, yeah. not, not by much. But it, it's just good practice, Okay. I think. Yeah. Well, it is an yeah. excellent question. I'm yeah. glad that you did send that in, Maria. Thank you so, so yeah. much. Just noticed as well, well, I noticed when I was looking at the book. Can we just have a look at the back cover? The dress that Adarko is wearing is the one here. I think this is beautiful. I really do like that. That fabric is gorgeous as well. There's the face mask. We've got this fabric on as well. That's the green leaves. Lovely. Gorgeous. It's been very busy today on this book, oh, actually. Good. Very busy. Good, good, good. Okay, so that's, on? that's done. Not the oh, neatest. Lovely. Not the neatest, but it's done. Okay. And the zip opens, closes. It was lovely. just fiddly because it was. I normally use a walking foot, which makes it easier yeah. with the um, zip pull. But because I was making the sleeves, because I was sewing the sleeves earlier, I just had my normal foot okay. on there, but it's a bit trickier. With the zip okay, pull. So there's a, a little bit of a tip for you. <laughs> really, it's just a case of watching out with the zip pull, isn't it? Make sure it's out of the way when yeah. you're stitching. Lovely. And so then you'll take your back piece, yeah. um, lay it on top, and again you will stitch. Let's have a look at this. With right sides together, stitch the completed front outer to the back outer case on all sides. Press and trim the seam, trimming the corners, keeping the wrong side out. So that's step four on page 79. Lovely. So as Marie, was it Marie or Maria who we emailed in? Mar Maria who we emailed in asked about uh, washing the fabric first. Yeah. Um, Obviously, for something like that, you said it's yeah. not quite as necessary. No, I suppose I mean, just get on with the yeah. The I think I think you can just carry on. Um, it's up to you, but I wouldn't have said that it was necessary for a bag. And really, um, they do soften over time, even if you haven't washed and pressed. Yeah. Know, I know some people, they'll say to me, oh, no, I don't want to wash. I don't. That's not the end of the world. You know, it's your fabric, your, you know, <laughs> do whatever makes you happy. But um, as I say, they do soften over time anyhow. So it's okay. So what sort of size stitch are you using for so stitching So this is, um, I'll now use a normal stitch length. Earlier, I was using the large stitch length when I was doing the zip, but now I'll just use a normal stitch length. I love the whir of a sewing machine. Sorry? I love the whir of a sewing machine. <laughs> I think it's important to um, keep the zip open during this because you'll need to turn it around. Yeah. Lovely stuff. What's that seam allowance are you using there? Then, one again? centimetre. Centimetre. It's pretty much one centimetre for all the projects. Okay. And where it's not one centimetre, it will sp specify a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an oh, inch. Wonderful. But for the most part, it's one centimetre. Okay. And for a project like this, when you're just sewing around the edges as well, if you're a little bit out, it doesn't really matter, does it? so much as a, a, a garment maybe where you put in sleeves and where you've got to be a little bit more accurate. If anybody's 
got any more questions, please do email in studio at ichanda.com. We've had some great questions come in so far. Oh, are we live on Facebook? We, had, we were struggling to read the comments earlier. I, think. I don't know if something had gone a little bit amiss. Um. <laughs> Who's there? Do you know, I noticed it was David Kirk's birthday. Was it yesterday? Happy birthday, belated birthday, David. I don't know if David's there. Uh, I'm trying to think of the usuals with Sarah Jones usually there. Um, our Ross is going to log in and have a look. As I say, any questions, studio at achanda.com. Ah, oh, we're live, we are. Dave's there, Heather's there, Sylvia's there, Moira's there as well. This is our regular crew, you see, Adarko. Is it? They tune into Facebook Live. Diamond Crystal's there. In fact, yeah. I, I remember, I've seen your pop-ups. I've seen... <laughs> <laughs> So that's what happens, and is it normally around this time? Yes, yeah, okay. yeah, seven o'clock at night. And okay. if I'm not working, you quite often see me popping up there as well, because I join in. <laughs> I watch a chander just like everybody else when I'm not at work. Good. I'll just give you a time check of Durko as well. We yeah. have got 15 minutes left. Okay. Oh, Heather bought the Pops of Colour fabric. Oh, Heather. Oh, I hope you share with us what you do with it as well. Let us know. Do you know? Do you know what you're going to do with it? Please let us know. Lovely. All right. Oh, Hazel's been in touch as well. Oh, Hazel says she loves your nails, Adark. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. They match beautifully with the dress, I've got to say. <laughs> The more Thank I you, Hazel. Dress, the more I love it. Okay, and then um, we'll just trim the corners here, uh, taking care not to cut into the seam line, stitch line. Lovely. So just take, taking the corners off there. Yep. Okay. So then I think we can put this to one side. Okay. Next step, we're making the lining. Okay. And effectively, um, I'll just move my machine out of the way. I think your director may be happier with me during this show. <laughs> what was that, Adanka? No, your director may be happier with me during this show because I've, I'm trying to be good and stay on the grey oh, mat. I see. Well, it's a different director to earlier. <laughs> oh. So, oh, is it not? It's not it's like the same one. Yes, I thought oh, it's Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> 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 You're good. doing very well. Good. Very well. Um, so it's stitched in a very similar way. Uh, the only difference is it's stitched in a very similar way to the light, to the outer fabric. The difference is that you will leave an eight inch gap here. Okay, yeah. When stitching, but otherwise you'll stitch the back okay, in the yeah. same way. So again, okay, right side lovely. to right side. So where are we? Step five. To make the lining, stitch the larger front lining piece to the front band lining place piece uh, right sides together leaving an eight inch gap centered on the seam to match the zippered opening on the outer case right I understand now Heather who has bought the pops of color yes so she's either going to make a dress or a jacket Ooh, Heather. please share Heather when you've done it I'd love to see it uh, Ross would like a jacket in the pops of color I could, see, I could see Russ wearing that. I think he'd look rather smart in it. Have you got a favourite colour, Adarko? Have I? Yeah. Probably yellow. Yellow. Have you? Um, I, I kind of change. It depends. I love green. Okay. But I haven't. I used to love pink, and then blue was my favourite. Yeah. I hated green. Yeah. Hated it with a passion, and now it's one of my favourite colours. But there's so many different types of green. But green goes with everything. Yes, no, it does. I love green and purple together. That's why I love the one day special today because we've got the Bluebell Woods. If you missed the earlier show, don't miss it at eight o'clock. <laughs> Do you find your your um, 
favourites change with the seasons, though, or do you do you find that your mm. taste change with seasons? No, I don't well? because a colour like yellow just makes me happy. Yeah. And so I pretty much always like. I don't. <laughs> I may not wear yeah, it. You mean in terms of, of, of what you wear? Maybe I... Well, or, what you wear, what would be your preference? If you could only... Wear one colour. Yeah, what, yeah, if you could only wear one colour, would it be All year yellow? round. I mean, if I lived in a warm climate, then yes, it would be yellow. But maybe, you see, something like this is nice. The one that you bought, the um, Birds of Paradise. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, you could wear that. Because, you know, you could wear that in autumn, winter. It's still nice. Isn't it? Well, I bought the clots pattern that you, you brought to us that day as well. And it, it was a high-necked or a turtle neck jumper with yeah. the clots. And it looked amazing to have the dark top and the brightness of the, the trousers. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit more pressing there. Just a bit more pressing. Uh, we can see the opening as well that's been left. Have you ever seen that iron before, Adirk? Have you I used have. it before? Yes, a few, I mean, it's always here. Yeah. <laughs> have you used it? Yeah, I love it. Oh, do you? Yeah. I have to say, I quite like the one that's, you know, attached to a bath or something. That's what? Sorry. It's attached to a bath, isn't it? It has, it sits in... A sort oh, of I know what you mean. Yes, it's like a bath. Yeah, um, sort of a steam man where it has its oh, own wow. sort of. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I wasn't sure when I first saw it, but oh yeah, that's yeah. nice. No, I know. I'm trying to think of the official. I've got one at home. That's my Have iron you? like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah because so the well, steam's they, all in the bottom. Yeah, yes. That's great because also it means that you just you're not filling up every five minutes. That's true. Which you know, if you're doing a lot of steam ironing, then you find that the water runs out quite quickly. But that, that was very impressive. I mean, I was ironing all of these, you see, oh. and I literally ironed all of them. I could them. hear the steam going from, <laughs> from our presenter's lounge. And there was still plenty of water in there. Okay, so that's that. And then I'll just stitch the back. Lovely. Details still on the screen for the book. Remember, 25 individual projects in there, vibrant projects. We're calling it that because of the beautiful fabrics that have been used. I don't know why I've put two side by side there because they're both exactly the same. <laughs> uh, but just a fantastic value. Absolutely. I'm, I keep looking at this dress that Adarko is wearing. I think I might want to make that for myself. The Etta sleeveless shirt dress. That looks so comfy to wear. It's very nice, I have to say. I'm yeah, I'm completely spoilt. Like I said, I've just had my pick of all of them today. Oh, I think someone sent an image in. I hope so. We can show it. Just see if we can get hold of it for you. Ooh. Oh, oh, happy retirement, Dave. I've just heard you retired as well as it being your birthday this week. Do you know, I think Dave's going to fill his days with plenty of things to do, though. Don't think he'll be sat down watching too much telly. Maybe it'll be on in the background. Always busy. We have a lot of regular viewers at Adirko, you see, who email in, send us pictures, watch at certain times every night, like in the Facebook group. Yeah. And uh, really get on board with everything that we do here. It's oh, that's lovely. so good. That's so good. I've even got my own personal weather lady who comes on the group. <laughs> she lives near me, so she tells me when the weather's good and when it's bad and when it's So you know careful. what to wear and what to bring. Oh, we've got another question. Uh, Heather is asking a question about one of the fabrics, I believe, that might be behind you, Adarko. We're just yep. seeing if we can find out. We're just trying yep. to work out which fabric Heather's talking about. The leaf fabric. The green leaves ah. or... The leaves, the I believe on the mannequin, just behind you there. The brown, red and white. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no longer in stock. Oh. Um, a few of them were just made so long ago. Well, I say so long, but in the lifespan of yeah. the, the fabric. that. Um, so the jumpsuit fabric is out of stock. The pencil case fabric is out of stock. This leaf fabric is out of stock. Iron fabric, no yes. surprises. Oh, how unfortunate. <laughs> oh, it is beautiful as well, but we've got plenty of others to choose from, of course. Heather's already gone for the pops of colour. What about, Heather, the green leaves? The pink and the green together, that's nice. 
Now we've got an image to show you here. This is used in Adarko's fabrics. Oh, it might not be actually, but it's... Right, okay. Ah, right, got it. Now this is a picture, whoever sent this in, who's the, this from Winnie, Winnie sent this one in and she wants to make a quilt like this using Adarko's fabrics. I can so see that, can't you? Very much, it's very nice. Any one of them will work so beautifully. You've got so many different designs in there. Oh Winnie, please do send us <laughs> pictures when you've made yours as well. Oh, that's lovely. to know you see it seems to me that people sending in emails and commenting know what they want to make before they buy their fabrics I'm the other way around you see I just see a fabric I love that I'm having that I ain't got a clue what I'm gonna do with it yet but I'm having it apart from the clots I did buy that pattern so oh, I knew exactly what I wanted to do sure. with, with that fabric but I am a little bit like that I just see something I love it I've got to have it You've got to have it I think we all are to some degree yeah We've got five minutes left. Oh no! It I just know, goes so go? quickly. Of course, step by step in the book to make the project that we're seeing here, which is the pencil case. You've got makeup bags. You've got all sorts, of course, that you can create. mentioned working around a young family then, Adarko, so have you, have you got children at home? I do, I do. Mm. Oh, <laughs> how old? They are six, four and two. Oh wow, oh you must be busy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's great it's fun though, it's great fun, it's just a magical time oh, that yeah. um, goes, I'm sure anyone who's had children that age would say that it just goes so quickly. So I'm just enjoying, trying to enjoy every moment. Oh, you do want to enjoy it because they grow so quickly. Yeah. In fact, when mine were that age, I had two years between three of my first three and then number four came along. Um, it was a five-year gap. They're all grown up now and it's yeah. not the same. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what you can do is just sort of bring the zip pull to the middle. You'll insert your outer bag piece pencil case piece okay. which is wrong side out yeah. into your lining piece which is also wrong side out and line up the zip okay. with yep. the gap Lovely. that should sit nicely together and that will sit in there four minutes left and now for some hand stitching, you'll essentially hand stitch the seam allowance of the zip, if that makes sense. Let me just get this in first. Corners to fit in, is that what's happening there? It's good in there. There we go. Lovely stuff. Got about three minutes left, or just okay. three minutes of down cream. And then what you'll do. I could have trimmed down that seam allowance actually okay, yeah. because I, I mitered the corners but I could have trimmed down the seam allowance as well. Yeah, so, so when you're doing easier. yours just to make life a little okay. bit easier and then um, with the seam allowance turned under slip stitch the opening in the lining to the outer edge of the zipper tape on both sides of the gap. So essentially Oh, I, I, yeah, I see how that's going Just to Just to cover. Yeah. And then you'll hand stitch yeah. that together and then pull through. Okay, yeah, through the zip. Through the zip and open it out. And that's the it. The right way around. The right way around. Lovely. And that and reverses, obviously, the 
what is the lining right to the inside then and you've got that beautiful fabric on the outside stunning let me just find that uh, finished picture again i yeah, think you've got sure. the finished item haven't you there yeah so the finished item is here if we can just see how that works of course there we are. i just love that it's so nice Absolutely gorgeous, loving that fabric, but to say. And then, of course, page 76 is where it all starts in the book. It's just one of the 25 projects. And, of course, it gives you all the details about the seam allowances, all the step-by-steps in there, accompanied with those beautiful photographs. But you decide on the fabric. You can go with whatever fabrics you like. I can see any of the fabrics we've got available tonight will work. Absolutely gorgeous. 11 99 for the book, a £3 saving, as you can see. Make sure you grab yours and you check your baskets out. Don't wait until tomorrow, because at 8 o'clock that price will go back up. 704-940. Of course, you can catch the previous show on Rewind as well. What time was that earlier on with Alex? 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Do have a look back. You see Alex wearing that beautiful dress as well and seeing demonstrations putting that dress together. Adarko, we're in the last minute. Oh. oh. Do you know when you're back again? I don't. Don't, I don't. You? Hopefully soon. <laughs> Hopefully Have you any soon. idea what you'll be bringing to us the next time you do visit? No, I'm not, not sure. yet. <laughs> Oh, it will be a surprise there. Well, do shop on the website as well. Do have a look for Dovetailed. That's, you can see under the brands there, you will find them under D. There's lots more besides the items we've shown on the, sh uh, the show itself tonight. There are some fabrics we know are out of stock, but do, if anything catches your fancy there, do have a look and see if it's available. We've got some great reviews there. There's those collots, look. They're there. They're the ones. Claudette. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I lo I'm loving that other fabric there, that with the big florals with the black background as well. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, right, lots and lots for you to look at then. So we're almost at the end of another hour. We've got Alex coming back with Matthew Palmer for the One Day Special shortly. But just for now, Ad Adarko, thank you so thank much you. again for joining us here no. and bringing your beautiful garments and a gorgeous book there as well. Thank you for joining us. Don't go anywhere, though. Much more still to come. Yes, join Matthew and Alex, of course, for the one day special that's coming up next. And then we've got a happy hour with Dolly Dimples. Matthew's back again at 10 o'clock and then you can stay with us throughout the night. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Tula Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humour, a flair for hiding animals within her designs and her bold, unique use of colour and pattern. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Emma, the Cricut Demonstrator here on Hochanda. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. 
I love Cricut because it allows me to take craft projects I have in my head and make them a reality. You can customise and personalise your paper craft projects, your home decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows on Hochanda, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with cricket. So make sure you don't miss the cricket shows on Hochanda. Can you believe it's been two years of Sentimentally Yours here at Hochanda? Please join me for our very special birthday celebrations, starting from the 26th of February at 10am and ending on Sunday the 28th of February. You will not want to miss these birthday celebrations, launching with the brand new products that I am super excited about. Then we have a one day special launching on the Saturday, this is gorgeous and we have a secret very very special guest coming in to launch that for you. Then we also have Trudy Howard's gorgeous brand new release launching on the same weekend. What a treat, I cannot wait for these birthday celebrations. So put the dates in your diary and make sure you don't miss the Sentimentally or second anniversary birthday celebration shows. so serene wasn't it how lovely uh, if you are just joining us and you missed the launch you're going to absolutely love this one day special we have another of Matthew's fantastic DVDs exclusive to us here at Hachanda and also we've got a lovely bundle to go with it and we are already over a quarter of the stock gone so without further ado hey good evening Matthew hello lovely to be working with you again you too are you going to get me painting later Yes. Whoa. Yes. Okay. I think so I think yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Okay. It's gonna be good. Oh, I've got all something right. exciting painting wise planned for you. Absolutely no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> right then, so let's talk about first of all this DVD. Um, what have we got on this? What lovely scene are we doing? Okay, so it's it's a bluebell wood. So the theme of this this uh, DVD is bluebells and woodlands. But it's not just about how to paint bluebells, it's all the techniques. You can see it playing here actually. Yeah. How to create these wonderful um, distant trees and it's on for pretty much two hours just under two hours um, full step by step nothing cut out of it filmed in my studio so it's a great one and as we were saying this is very much purely just for today yeah this DVD will not be anywhere else so it's just for the one day special very limited quantity as well on this one I've got to say that right um, so please do get all of this one because you'll enjoy it. So it's the DVD and the tools to do the project as well. Absolutely, because first off you've popped the beautiful paints in here. Now what colours have we got? Okay, so three colours, all perfectly suited for this picture. We've got um, two colours that we've never seen before, cool. including the intense violet, beautiful, vibrant uh, violet colour, great for bluebells of course, great for evening skies, beautiful for snow shadows and for any shadows a transparent violet beautiful color mm -hmm. uh, warm sepia now this is a new color this is brand new warm sepia now when you think sepia i think of old photographs but it's a lovely color that's great for the trees that you can see here absolutely i'm um, stunning for that and just a good all-round color to mix with any color to make darker shades and then there's one real special colour, that's the green mm -hmm. on the end. Now that green is a colour I've designed to replicate spring yes. 
thyme foliage and that's what we all need a bit of spring foliage at the minute so we've got a beautiful uh, bright natural green light color big tubes yep. you're probably going to get about 30 paintings out of this wow 30 it's, it's going to go a long way it's very concentrated stuff this really is nice so we're seeing the three um lovely gorgeous paints which obviously we've just seen the painting that you're going to be making uh, next then now you've popped some watercolor paper in you're getting five sheets and this is premium isn't it it is. This is 100% cotton, so for me, this is not really paper, this is more canvas, if okay. you think about it um, like that. It's a beautiful paper, made in France, it's made for me especially, working with the company that manufactures it, working with the SAA, premium, high-end watercolour paper. Now, this is not new stuff, this has been around, this has been tried and tested for a long time. Right. All the pictures in the gallery that we can see, loving the set, by the way, today, Aww. is it's all on this paper. This is good stuff. Anyone that's painted on this, people that are doing the live workshops, all use this. It's such a pleasure to work on. And being cotton, it really makes the biggest difference. The one thing you need to get right is, yeah. is paper, and we've got it here. This, I can't say how, how nice this you stuff is to work on. You are very passionate about I it. Am. It really makes the difference. Nice. Five sheets, big sheets. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Big sheets. Then we've also got an imitation sable brush. Yes, yeah, so we've got the um, world's first imitation sable um, nice. brush here, manufactured by the guys at the SAA, so you know it's quality. Why is it imitation? Well, sable is a very, very hard to come by bristle, very expensive, very hard to come by, and there's all sorts of ethics involved in it. So we've got a imitation sable, purely synthetic, beautiful brush. It's got the same properties, which means that every single hair uh -huh. is hollow, so it holds water. That's interesting. It is, Science yeah. Bit. So it holds the water. Beautiful tapered rigger brush designed for you know branches, fence posts, mm -hmm. bearded chuffs, all that stuff. And the tree and texture brush? The classic, classic one. We've got the uh, large size here. Nice. If we slightly rotate that, I'm not sure if sure. we can do it without it all falling, falling down. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, hang not on, my too bad, not way. too bad. You can see it's tapered. This yeah. is the largest of the tree and texture brushes. A very much tried and tested classic brush. It's an essential part of anybody's watercolour, acrylic, oil uh, painting Fab. life because it's not just about watercolours, these brushes. Uh, excellent. There you go. So that is your lovely exclusive DVD with all the tools to go with it. And you've also got the beautiful painting here. Just to, no, you're not getting that, but just to show you what you're going to be able to accomplish. And don't be, as we always say, don't be frightened of that blank canvas. No, just give no. it a go. Just enjoy it. Yeah, very, very achievable. Now, you've also popped some... So it's just those three colours using... Um those three colours to create that effect and you've also done some more for us here some more paintings yeah cause it's not just about bluebells you know uh, woodlands this is this is a scene of actually Sherwood Forest in Nottinghamshire with the beams coming through the trees from the sun yeah you know and using the brushes and the sepia and the green and the violet you can create a picture like this as well nice. so it, it's taking the techniques that you learn on the DVD putting them into everyday uh, practice if you like. Lovely. There's more, there's more, you've done more for us. Again, are these using the three colours? Yes, so again the snowdrops here, you could use the um, violet for the sky, the green obviously and the brown for the footpath mm -hmm. and of course the branches as well. The white, you can use masking fluid which we'll talk about a little bit later. Excellent. Shall I show a few more? Yeah, what do you absolutely. Reckon? Yeah, good stuff. Let's see, here we go. I'm not, uh, because you've switched it up for us. I mean, look at that field. So lavender fields like French lavender fields, classic. Again, that's the colour from the One Day Special. That's Amazing. intense violet. The green is also featured in there as well in the hills. Gorgeous stuff. Uh, I will show you more samples as we go through the course of the evening. Uh, £37.99. I've just seen the saving. I genuinely hadn't looked before. It's a good price, this one. A really good saving. Whoa, Absolutely you are stunning. saving £27.32. pence. Now, remember, that will be going back up tomorrow if as long as it lasts because we have so many sellouts on Hachanda. So £37.99, pence. you've got a two-hour DVD running real time uh, and all the tools to do it. 400, 400, 400, 300 is your item number. Now we have more things for you that you might want to add into your basket. Now this uh, was uh, a one-day special, wasn't it? The Fantastic. Uh, it did sell out but we've now got it back in stock which is excellent. Yeah, so these are the new brushes. These are the ones that took over two years to get wow. to market and we've got them here we had them about six seven weeks ago something like that yeah on on a chander as a launch it sold out very quickly we've got them back with the same dvd that we nice. had as well 
and grab them while you can. Cool. Is that all about techniques there on there? It's basically how to use the brush, and it'll give you three or four paintings you can do as well. Oh, with, lovely. With brushes. Do get these in case you missed out. Again, another great saving, £8.06. It's thirty-one ninety-nine. Item number is 915573. Then we've got, this is another fantastic bundle, we've got the masking fluid bundle. We are already 20% of the stock gone. Every time we bring this in, people go, no, I need that. I mean, they do, don't they, Matthew? It's like the tree brushes. Masking yeah. fluid is an essential. It's part of watercolour painting nowadays. I mean, when I first started painting, when I was a boy, masking fluid <laughs> wasn't really a thing, but now it is. It's part of it. It keeps your paint white and you get a big coloured bottle. Coloured means you can see where you stick it, which yeah. I'm sure you know is important. Indeed. We've also got the Schminky, Schminky. Aqua Modelling Paste. Yep. which is a primer which once dried you can paint watercolours over the top of mm -hmm. it that allows you to create 3d effects think of tree bark think of uh, you know cliffs and rocks beautiful stuff you get the pack of five uh, palette knives great for scraping off color watch the previous show back you'll see those in use yeah and we'll give you three special brushes which are designed for the application of masking fluid which will not ruin the hair on the brushes lovely right 19 pounds and 99 pence you've got a five pounds and 58 pence saving three four one eight seven nine and then we've got a lovely pick and mix of colors here of the gorgeous paint uh, see what you're doing is picking any three um, which ones, if you are a beginner, would you recommend, Matthew, if you're okay. just starting out? Right, so if you're going for the one day special, first of all, as a nice addition to that, I'd yeah. go for the grey. The grey is in there, it's always the important one. That's the brand new um, revised grey for 2021, the brand new one in the silver tube. Yeah. Um, oh, in the, are we looking at the wrong one? Now there it is. Oh, that is fine. That's okay. the grey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So lovely. that's the one that's for shadow. So go for that one. Right. Um, I'd also recommend going for something like that dark skin tone, a beautiful colour for terracotta, brickwork, roofs, sandy beaches, gorgeous colour. Yeah. And a nice addition to anybody's watercolour palette is the turquoise, which is good for seascapes natural turquoise that's a good set of three yeah lovely stuff thank you uh 16 pounds and 98 pence have a look on the website for your lovely pick and mix um you've got a little saving on that as well uh six seven nine nine six seven is your item number and then we've also got uh the book and the dvd together so do these work in tandem then matthew yes so that was my uh last book that was published not last year the previous year um, it's already been republished again which is wonderful. Oh, wonderful nine paintings in there all based on probably my favorite subject mountains and what you've got is um, each brush stroke is photographed like it would have been filmed let's say so you've got three colors and three brushes right okay that's it three colors three brushes primary colors yeah um, nine pictures and it's it's such a fantastic concept because it's called take three colors the DVD just takes two paintings out of the book and okay. me painting them in person but also there's an extra bonus uh, painting on there as well so you get I think it's 90 minute DVD and um, you get nine projects in the book so it's a wonderful yeah. little set great price as well I can it see is. that beautiful price yeah. look at that for a DVD and your book um, and you've got so many projects there. Eighteen pounds and fifty-nine pence. Item number is two seven one five zero six. Now, if you haven't heard about the SAA, where have you been? But anyway, don't you worry because Matthew is going to tell us all about it. Now, this is really important because we have to say this every time. This is the this is the only time we'll say don't put this in your basket right what you need to do to become a member and to get these extra benefits is scroll down the page and there you see that little second tab there you click on that link that will take you back that will take you to I should say the SAA and then you join there and you'll get a lovely set of, of three free brushes I believe yeah so as well as your membership and we'll go yep. through the benefits of membership in a second cool. but I didn't know that we was doing this until I got here a, a few hours ago. Oh, so really? What we, yeah, what we've given you here, folks, is the brand new brushes, um, the fantastic brushes that we spoke about, oh. the ones that sold out last time. So if you join the SAA, you get the set, the full set of three brushes as part of your membership, um, which is £45 for a year's annual membership. Yep. And, of course, as a member of the SAA, for yourself or for... Uh, 
as a gift or something, you know, it's a great thing to do. Lots of really cool things that you get as being a member. Mm -hmm. When I first joined the SAA back in the 90s, then back in the 90s, back in the 90s, <laughs> when I was a boy, <laughs> you didn't get, there was no internet. Could you just stop and think about that for this a minute? Is crazy, no internet, isn't it? you know? No but nowadays, thing. you get all these great things, but you also get the um, access to the online world of the SAA, the biggest art group in the world, and what you're going to get is a huge video on demand service for members, thousands of hours worth of art tuition. There's about 700 hours of me, I think, on there. Wow. Loads of stuff, lots and lots and lots of tuition on there, as well as all these really good stuff. So you get a subscription to Paint Magazine that gets sent out to your door every um, two months. Uh -huh. That'll come, and this magazine is full of step-by-step -step articles on on painting all all mediums in there you get a book on watercolors you, you get a catalog with shipping included you get discounts you get loyalty points there's a list as long as this picture you know all all these really good stuff and of course you get that wonderful access to the online world nice. and that set of fantastic brushes that we spoke about as well which is uh, worth over 24 pounds cool Lovely stuff. All right, then. Um, so, as I said, um, please don't put it in your basket. Just use that item number to find the actual page, 127400. Scroll down, go to the link, and then uh, you join that way, and that's how you'll get those lovely, lovely goodies. Uh, you can call us, of course, to place your order, 01733602000. Okay, I'm getting an update here. We are now a third of the stock gone on the one-day special. This DVD is an exclusive here to us at Hachanda. It's beautiful because it's all about your spring woodland painting that spring woodland and what the sun was shining today it's perfect isn't it yeah spring is coming and the temperatures in double figures as well what more would you what more could you want from uh, no. what more could you want lovely uh, stuff all right then uh, you can also check out of course on our website at hachanda.com hey i'm going to ask for pictures i know it's knocking on at night but if you fancy if you've been painting any of uh, you know the projects that matthew does if you've been go uh, going on his online workshops when's the next one by the way Sunday, Sunday. And, uh, it's a painting of a butterfly on flowers, so a beautiful blue monarch butterfly, so make sure you check that out folks, watercolour.tv is where you book. There you go. Well done. Did you, is that an alright plug? That's perfect. Excellent, excellent. Let's try it again later. <laughs> try again. Uh, okay, uh, well, without further ado, yeah, what I was asking for was pictures, of course. Send your pictures of any of your paintings to studio at tachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook. Right, what's your fancy painting then, Matthew? Um, let's paint... Let's paint something nice and colourful, nice and warm. Yes. And I think we'll go for something with a building in. So actually, it'd be nice to use some masking fluid. Okay. Let's, let's put some mask fluid on this one as well. So down here, we've got the masking fluid, which again is it in the uh, kind of additional kit. And I've got the watercolour paper. What I want to do, actually, because it's a big sheet of watercolour paper <coughs> that you get. Remember, you get five of these, and you can use both sides. So I'm actually going to tape off sort of half the paper bit short <laughs> story of my life we'll start again <laughs> let's start again there we go right okay um yeah because that's a good size to work mm -hmm. on it's not essential but you can go as small as you want really sure. and i'm just going to use uh, masking fluid which is colored which is great in its own right the fact you can see it because i spent you know many years using normal clear masking fluid you have to kind of be pretty good there's a mini me there, look. Oh no, I was just thinking that I was like, well placed. That's when I was a boy, don't you see? <laughs> we're gonna use that. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> yeah. As if that was taken a couple of days ago. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, masking fluid brushes, which are great, and I'm gonna mask off a bit of a building actually. So I wanna pop this down here. Okay. And I've not done any sketching, but obviously it's not a problem to sketch these things in if you wish. But I'm sketching it in with the fluid now. It's quite difficult to see, possibly on camera, I don't know. It's a pale blue, but it's nice here. I can see this thing nice and clear. Yeah, we can see it, yeah. We and it just makes um, painting easier because in watercolours, white is the paper. So we make use of that white. And uh -huh. what we do is we use masking fluid. Now, if this was oil painting or acrylic, you'd use white paint and you use a lot of it. But for watercolours, the white is the water, if that makes sense. So yeah. you add more water to make a colour lighter. But if you've got a complicated thing like a, a building, how do you protect that from the paint? Well, this is the way you do it with uh, masking fluid. 
and it was such a simple idea that the SAA came up with to keep the uh, brushes separate, have, have special brushes yeah. designed for this. It just takes away a lot of the fear. So that's nicely protected. And what we'll do is we will give that a very quick dry. Yeah. And you can just use hair dryers or in this particular case it's a heat, a heat tool. And it'll just take a couple of seconds, just That's give it a right. dry, really. Do you have to make sure you wash your brushes quite soon? Yeah. So my advice to you, as someone that's been using this for a long time, is even with the special brushes, do maybe two minutes worth of painting, clean the brush and start again. If okay. you need to keep doing more, because even the special brushes, it will stick to them, but you can pick yeah. it off. Oh, all right. You can pick it off. I'll bet that's satisfying, to be honest. But anyway. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I agree. I agree, yeah. It's the best bit, the picking it off bit. Now what we'll do is we'll paint in a little bit of a scene here. So okay. using the brush and the colours from the one day special, pop that to one side. Um, and of course the brush, we've got the tree brush. Now this is the large tree brush here, which again is in the one day special. On its own, it's, it's almost £14 for that brush by itself. Designed by me, very popular. It's, it's designed for stippling. Yeah. The more abuse you give to that brush, better it performs. Oh, how interesting. So give it some hammer. It's designed for stippling. You wouldn't do that with an expensive sable no. brush, you know? Yeah. So let's just paint in the, the sky. So just wetting the paper here. Now it's cotton paper, so you know it's going to hold a lot of water. So you can give it a couple of coats if you wish. There you go. So that's nice and wet, folks. And any colour would work, but I'm going to take a little bit of the violet from the... I like this colour from the um, one day special, nice and pale. I'm just going to sort of brush it in. I'm not going to paint all the way to oh. the edge. I like that kind of faded edge. It seems yeah. to work nice. nice. So a bit of an evening sky going off here because we're using violet, obviously. What's interesting about this uh, tree brush is if you lay your brush flat in your palette. Yeah. And if we look at the brush now, it's kind of gone together. Oh, he's, ju he's just coming in. It's gone nice and flat. OK, here so we go. Yeah. You can have it stippling or you can have it close together. And I can just sweep in some nice, oh. moody clouds. Oh, I'm there, staring at the clouds. You write poetry. <laughs> write poetry? Yeah, while well, looking at the clouds. Yeah, oh yeah. You could wander as lonely as a cloud. Do, that, do you write poetry? No. I was going to say. I think that's Mind Wordsworth you. wrote that. Isn't oh, it? I Wordsworth. see. Wordsworth. Oh, well, Baker's telling me off. He's like, you do realise that's quite a famous quote. Sars. It's probably the most famous quote from our Hilarious, and I did actually get an A in English. That's rather hilarious. Oh. <laughs> 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 so you can see how I can use the tree brush and twist it to make a nice evening, a nice summer's evening sky when the sun's gone down and there's a little bit of light in the sky nice. left just coming through. But look at those clouds created with a tree brush, yeah. okay? Um, what we'll do then is we'll come down to the palette then, we'll clean that brush and we'll grab some of the green. Now it's the light green you've got here. Mm -hmm. I want to mix it with the violet so it makes it a little bit darker. And we'll give it a bit of a stipple. Now, what's really good about this is we've got the masking fluid to think about. Mm -hmm. Now this is what we said we were laughing last time, this is called bashing the brush. Give it some welly. It's designed for this and the more you do this, when you get the new brush back from your one day special, get it out of the packet and give it some... Give it some welly. Bed it in a bit like when you get a new pair of shoes. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And we'll give that a bit of a stipple again. And just look how simple it is to paint trees. Now, oh, that's so cool. I've got to admit that I, when I started painting mm. many moons ago, I really struggled to paint summer trees, okay? And I used to go out with sketchbooks and practice summer trees because it was a challenging thing. There was nothing like this. Yeah. There was no Matthew Palmer to teach me, so I kind of <laughs> just had to make my own way with it all. And when I first got into making products, it was tree brushes was the first thing on was the list. It? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I started teaching, people loved them instantly. And that was quite a while ago, maybe mm -hmm. 25 years ago, something like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry, it's not COVID. And, um, it's all right, <laughs> don't you worry. I want to bring some brown into that to make the colour darker. Okay. So, yeah, um, popular brushes, thousands and thousands of these have been sold mm -hmm. all over the world. So, highly recommended. Highly recommended, tried and tested. Yeah. We're going to put some shadows in these trees, and I'm using the sepia. 
bits of the sepia mixed with the green it does make a nice kind of sage green almost yeah and you can that. separate them up almost like an olive green yeah so it well, I mean you get results with this brush in minutes which is fabulous yeah I mean, just imagine trying to do this with a normal brush, and of course you can, but you s it takes a lot of time. It's not good for the brush. I was going to say, don't you ruin the brush? Doesn't it all split? Yeah, and, absolutely. You know? Yeah. You don't want to be uh, stippling um, brushes. You've, uh, the point will soon disappear if you do yeah. that. I'm yeah. going to fade the end away because I've gone for a vinaigrette. <laughs> there we go. Vinaigrette. Okay, now also with your masking fluid um, okay. kit, you also get the palette knives, and there's one here. And I'm just going to use this. So we used this in the previous show, but we're just going to go in and we're going to scrape out the branches of the taller tree, let's say. Instantly, that looks fantastic. As soon as you put that on, it turns it into a tree. Yeah. Um, within your landscape, and if you're not, if you're not painting on a live TV show and you're restricted to time, you can take your time with it. Mm -hmm. There's no rush. People seem to want things to that make life quicker and easier, and that's what these sort of tools are about, you know. And the paper and the DVD, and all this is in the DVD. This is just a this is a flavour of what's in the DVD. Yeah. Now that is a good stage to leave that to dry, but we've okay, got okay. a good nighttime sky. We've got good dark trees in the summer. Let's paint in the building next, but we'll give it some time to dry. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Matthew. Okay, it is busy out there. Um, right, a third of the stock has gone. We've got a deep stock. Now, this is exclusive to us, this fantastic DVD to us here at Hachanda. You've literally got about two hours worth of Matthew taking you through this whole project of the wonderful uh, spring woodland landscape there you are also getting oh should we have a little look here we go of the DVD uh, so um, uh, Matthew as I said is holding your hand through this do not worry if you've never done this before because you will see results um, a lot of people go I oh, can't do it can't do it and they give it a go and they're like actually wow I can I mean just look at this Look at this, we're just having a look at the actual finished article here. Isn't that stunning? Now to paint that, all you need is three colours and guess what? We've provided them for you. So you can see you've got that beautiful violet, the sepia and that fantastic green and that's all you need. And yes, as I said, they, it is in the bundle. Now as well as that, you are getting five very large sheets of that cotton, almost canvas paper um, for you to use and it is top top quality tried and tested this fantastic watercolor card yeah paper card whichever you want to say but it's it's 100 percent cotton which is marvelous then you're also getting your two brushes so you've got your tree and texture brush and then you've also got your imitation sable brush there you are these are all the tools that you'll need but as i say over a third of the stock has gone you've got a whopping saving of 27 pounds and 32 pence i really I was shocked because I hadn't seen that saving before we went to air. So I was like, hang on, that is a good deal. Uh, £37.99 pence is the price. 400300 is your item number. Right then, uh, we've also got, again, we're going to show you a reminder of how you join the SAA and get those lovely free goodies. So you find the item number, which is 127400. Do not add it to your baskets because sometimes people do and we're like, no, no, don't do that, because we want you to get those extra goodies. You see here, there's that, click on the link, there it is, to see the SAA membership, and then here is where you join. Um, and this is the only way to get those three free, fantastic brushes, which is quite difficult to say. And plus you get so many other benefits and extras that Matthew mentioned at the start of the show. Um, okay, again, if you do want to send in any pictures, there's still time. Send your pictures. If you've been on any of um, Matthew's workshops or you've had any of the DVDs, send your pictures to studio at hachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook. Uh, and now, if you'd like a little bit of inspiration, we have some for you. Let's take a look.
that so lovely and peaceful and calming, isn't it, Matthew? Relaxing. It Relaxing. is, isn't it? And as I said, you can see loads of inspiration there. Right then, how are we getting on, Matthew? Good, uh, nice and dry, so we can get the fluid off, and that's going to be using a masking fluid removal tool, which is included. Mm -hmm. It's this thing here. Okay. And you give it a rub, okay? <laughs> Just your finger, okay. You give it a rub. You can use rubbers or special mask aways if you want to, but we'll take that away. And of course, it will uh, leave that nice negative Look at that. space, nice. which is is hard to paint around if you was painting around it. Indeed. So let's paint in a bit of a white cottage. And of course, if you imagine using masking fluid for you know a sheep on a field or a yacht or something, you know it's got yeah. lots of lots of uses. So um, let's use the colours. Just throwing something on the floor. <laughs> right. Let's use the colours from the one day special. And also, let's bring in let's bring in a couple of other brushes which are the blending blades. These are the blending blades. Now, um, these have been on a chander once or twice, sold out again. My designer brushes, special brushes designed for um, making paint, reactivating paint and solving one of the biggest problems people have, mm -hmm. which is uh, blending paint. I don't think I've seen these ones. Um, mm. They've not been on for a long time because the tend to sell out as soon as they come into blending blades. Very popular tools. Um, mixing violet and brown together. Okay, what does that create? It'll give us a dark sort of... A dark violet. <laughs> yeah, almost like a mauve kind of colour. Ooh, cool, nice. Which is quite nice for the roof of this building. I'm mm -hmm. going to use that. And almost like a burgundy kind of colour. Yeah. And I want to use this brush here because it's got a nice point on it. This is the smallest one. There's a set of two, I believe, available. So yeah, there is. Yeah. I can, I can bring that in, put the lines going across. Oh, I found them. Hang on. They're hanging around somewhere. Yeah, found them. Here they are. So you can get the two. Uh, the details are on screen. Just twelve ninety nine. I think that's a really good price, actually. Uh, item number there is 858707. Lovely. Nice little addition. Beautiful. Cool. Yeah, and a great price for two brushes. Um, it's a special bristle that we designed for um, creating effects. Maybe you've put a cloud on or something that you didn't like. You mm -hmm. wanted to go back in and soften it. It kind of reactivates the colour. Yeah. It's a nice little tool. And it kind of takes away a lot of the fear of blending paint, which lots and lots of people do actually have. Nice. Okay. Now, um, using the violet, but very, very pale, will work nice for it. the shadows. So we'll take some of the violet and we're going to pop a shadow down this corner here. Oh, you're on your tippy toes. Yeah, I'm not quite tall enough. I need a <laughs> stool. I'm shrinking now. I'm getting old, you see. That's what, that's what Randy keeps saying. Yeah, don't I'm, joke about I'm that. Shrinking. I am. I'm no shrinking. joke. It's, it's yeah. serious. Oh. <laughs> it's a problem that needs addressing, isn't it, this uh, shrinkage? We'll bring it across <laughs> and then we'll clean the brush. We'll give it a couple of taps on that tissue. Yep. And, uh, <clears throat> We'll go in and give it a soften. Oh, look at that. Look at that shadow. And it's a nice, it makes it look like almost 3D as soon it as that goes totally in there. It totally does, 100%. Yeah, it kind of changes the, changes the scene. Make the colour a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. Okay. And we'll pop in some of the brown as well, or the sepia, not the brown. And we can bring in, use the tip of the blending blade here bringing a very loose impression of some windows. Now, I will soften those in in a second. Sure. Uh, we'll pop the little doorway on the cottage as well. So I can use this brush really precise if I need to. Clean my brush out, and then I can go in and give it a bit of a soften to the side. Beautiful. I'll pop a little bit of extra work on the roof as well, and a line down there. So a simple but effective little cottage in a watercolour. Um, now, back to the tree brush then. Back to the tree brush. And what we'll do here is we'll take some of the green mm -hmm. from the One Day Special and the tree brush from the One Day Special and we'll pop in some landscape. I just, I'm always, I, I love watching you work, Matthew. It just grows so quickly, but it's so realistic. It, and, you know, so achievable. Yeah, it's a nice thing, you know, and it's it's always it's having the fear into if you if you give somebody a sheet of watercolor paper and say, right, paint a cottage in a meadow, like, oh, okay, uh, yeah. you know, where do I start? And 
it's nice to watch and I know it's nice to yeah. um, sort of produce yourself as well and that's what's good about the stuff we bring you because everything we bring to a chanda, mm -hmm. I think every one day especially we've ever done in all these years of working with you guys we've always brought stuff that has tuition with it so yeah not just giving you this beautiful brush that paints these wonderful effects but giving you the advice and the tuition and also watching the shows back you mm -hmm. know because you've got that access to the uh, is it rewind you call yes, it on indeed. here so you can watch them back and you can produce some really nice quirky effects um i've got the palette knife here i'm just going to scrape away a little bit of a bit of a sort of light area that loosely represents a bit of a footpath uh -huh. and then of course in the um one is special you've got that beautiful uh, rigger brush with a gorgeous point on it and mm -hmm. um, so what I want to do is take the violet and the brown mix them together that's the sepia and I'm just going to pop in some little bits of detail so I'm going to get right close in here and I want to just mark some interesting little bits of detail like Add the window panes if you like. Mm -hmm. Look how fine that point is. The window is, sill. Yeah. yeah, it's a really nice brush, this one. Yeah. Even just leaving a thin line between there. As daft as it seems, that's the guttering, but it does add to it. Bring a little bit down here. Um, nice things you can do, you know, like a little bench. I'll oh, put why a little bench not? in front of just it. Just that little extra detail. Yeah, so we sort of do. A little bit of a bench coming down there. Just little random spots and dots around. And a little bit of a... The edge to the footpath where we scraped a bit of the green away. Yeah. Just sort of brushing to one side. Every little helps. <laughs> nice, okay. And then I think just to finish this painting off I want to grab hanging around the back somewhere I've got a piece of scrap watercolor paper here right and I want to use the tree brush again from the one day special remember this is the largest of the tree brushes so a very very useful tool to have and um, I'll pop some of the violet with it so it goes a little bit darker And what I want to do is I want to put a bit of a foreground, let's say hedgerow. So I'm using the card as an edge to paint the hedge. Mm -hmm. And you can see it leaves that nice effect. And we'll do the same over here as well. Imagine that's the boundaries of the, you know, the garden mm. or something. So I'm stippling it across. Yeah. And then you can see it makes that nice kind of edge. Nice. And uh, just briefly, if I can find it, come back to the super fine rigger brush again, which is absolutely stunning for doing detail. And I'm going to paint in like a bit of an old rustic fence, going back towards the cottage. Mm -hmm. Helps to give a bit of scale. It does, doesn't it? And you really feel like you could walk up that path. And I think, as a, as a simple picture, there's one thing missing from that painting, and that is some chuffs. I'll put some bearded chuffs in. You love your bearded chuffs. Yeah, there's two there. There you go. Two works for me, but there you go. That is a, a hopefully, a pleasing watercolour. Oh, it is. Using just the three colours from the One Day Special. I love the atmosphere. I love that sky. Yeah. Um, and that violet works lovely for the shadows as well. Absolutely. Can't go wrong, can you? Thank you, Matthew. Lovely stuff. All right, then, if you are just joining us, let us show you what is in the One Day Special. This fantastic DVD is exclusive to us here at Hachanda. There is only a limited amount, so please make sure you're checking out your basket. Um, you've got your DVD with your fantastic spring woodland scene that you're going to be able to create. Two hours worth of Matthew taking you through this, holding your hand. You've also got the tools to go with it. You've got the three fantastic paints, two of them in the new colours. You've got the violet and you've also got that wonderful sepia tone plus that wonderful green so just those three colors makes this beautiful beautiful landscape isn't it superb amazing and you're also getting 
your two brushes. So you've got the um, tree and texture brush. There you are. You can see that it's on a slanted edge. And you've also got the imitation sable brush. And if that wasn't good enough, you are getting five sheets. Now they're large sheets of that cotton paper so it's almost like a cotton canvas that you'll be working on so you've got all the professional tools to do the right job there is a huge saving on that one day special remember we are over a third of the stock gone we are okay we are now approaching 40 percent gone as i said this is an exclusive limited run here 37 pounds and 99 pence but you've got that 27 pounds and 32 pence saving uh, item number is four zero zero three zero zero Matthew, want to see some pictures? Yes. Excellent. This is from Pete. Hello, Pete. Good evening to you. Ah, stunning. Lovely. So, wow. a butterfly on Budley. Isn't it, it gorgeous? Stunning. Beautiful. It looks so real. It looks like a photograph. Beautiful. Now, he was inspired by one of your workshops. Oh, great. Yes, because we did do a workshop last summer of yep. a, a peacock on, on Budley. Stunning. Amazing. Excellent. Thank you, Pete. Thank you for taking the time. Brilliant. Now, the next two are from Kaz. Hello, Kaz. Good evening to you. Nice oh, nice distance. You can really sort of go through that, can't you? Right, yeah. right into those <coughs> trees. Beautiful. And, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so sorry. Um, she's saying she's a total beginner. These are her first attempts at watercolour. Stunning. Well they done. are absolutely stunning. Brilliant. And then <coughs> I might have to get a drink. Sorry. So sorry. This one is from Wendy. Are you happy just to chat for a second? Yes. <laughs> so again, another great example of what you can produce with today's one day special. Well done, Wendy. Beautiful bluebells. Love the shadows. Love the cast shadows on that one. Really makes it pop. Excellent. Lovely. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> um, now she says she only started painting at the beginning of this year. Was it beginning of this year? You said. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wendy. Well done. And Pete and Cas for sending it in because I know it's a little bit late. All right, now just a reminder of the SAA membership again. Uh, so when you go to the website, find this item number which will pop onto the screen. Here it is. Uh, it is 127400, but don't pop it in your basket. Go to the description down there. There you go. Um, click on the SAA membership tab, and that's where you join. And you'll get your lovely three free brushes. Uh, by joining through Hachanda, that's the one that you want there. Okie dokie. Um, so, I think without further ado, gulp, I'm going to do a bit of painting. It's your turn. Go for it. What are you going to do? Um. I'll tell you what, let's paint. <laughs> let's paint. <laughs> Go right, on then. Like a, an ivy covered sort of tree. Okay. That'd be nice, yeah? Sure. So, I've got the other side of this sheet. I want to turn it on the side, so I want to work there. So do I'm I working. need to do that with mine? Uh, no, you're okay. You're working on that, that, okay. that direction. Yep. Um, yeah, so you've got the large tree brush from the One Day Special. If you grab that, okay. hanging around there, we'll give one? it a bit of a rinse. This one? That's the one. Yep. And um, wipe off the excess on the side and shake the drips off. Oh, so I just, just wipe the excess on the side, shake Let's the drips off. give it a shake. Off. There you go. Yep. Straight into the light green. Yeah. A nice thick blob of it. Am I? Okay, nice thick blob. Nice thick blob. And then stick it somewhere in your palette and give it a good stir around. Okie dokie. Yeah. And a good stipple. Maybe a bit more paint on yours, I think. Nice and strong with your colour. A bit colour. more paint. That's the job. And give it a bit of a stipple. So if you stipple it sort of straight down, almost like... Almost at a right angle. Sorry, right. There I'm just go. moving That's that nice. to get a bit more. Just rejigging your bedside cabinet. I know I was, yeah. These are tall the table. They need a tall table for you. Give it a stipple. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll use the sort of flat part of the brush. Flat part. And we'll stipple it. Because it's got the angle to the bristle, you can sort of pop the right in. So if the right in is facing upwards, right. it's quite easy to stipple. Like this? That's the job, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm having yeah. to move around. Is this okay, Baker? Okay, we're concentrating on that, so that's fine. So we're going to stipple, stipple, stipple the ivy that's growing up a tree. Okay. So, yeah, that's perfect. So oh, stipple it yeah. up. Stipple it up. And then, as you go higher, try and make it wider at the base. As you go higher, start to rotate the brush so it goes slimmer. Does that make sense? That I'm sort of, so I'm going from the brush like this and changing it on the side so you can make a slimmer. Put a few kinks in it, like that, so it tapers. Now, if your brush gets a bit dry, just pop it back in your palette, and you can pop in another branch. 
Mm -hmm. That's the ivy, if you like, from the tree. Okay, how did you do that? So if you just, if you use more the tip of the brush, tip you know the, the tall hairs, yeah. so I'm going to get it away from you. Yeah. And then, it looks a bit like a cactus when you first do it. Oh yeah, that's what Katie just said. Mm. I'm just looking We've at all the seen these nice trees that get covered in ivy, you know, on the lanes, on the country lanes. Okay. Make it a little bit fatter in the middle. Fatter in the middle. So, oh gosh, I talk to myself when I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Um, There's a very um, calming hush in the studio. Yeah, I'm no, I'll, I'll, I'll get, be sticking my tongue out in a minute. <laughs> it's nice and relaxing in here. Yeah. There you go, yeah. So, is that all right? Yeah, fine. And then what we'll do with the brush is at, yeah. at the bottom we'll just put a bit of sort of ground, just kind of sweep it across. There you go. Yep. Have a go. If you can turn the brush upside down so the writing is facing down. So the tall, the, the tall, the tall hairs are at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And see if you can flick some little, some grass around the base. So the tall is at the bottom, but you're using that, the top bit there or the longer bit there? So it's the, the barcode is facing up. Barcode that's facing it. up. Ah. Oh. And the tall hairs you sort of flick. Imagine that's your brush you're sort of flicking like spikes. Okay. Let me see yours. Okay. That's it. Yeah. I'll yeah. Make that little grasses. Perfect. Before you put your branches on your tree, we need to bring some shadow into the tree. So we'll take some of the brown, the warm sepia. Have you? So you haven't cleaned your brush? No, we can go straight into the uh, warm sepia. Sepia. Is that the second one I've got here? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then mix it in so you get that darker. And I don't darker. need any water. No, just mix it through. Okay. It should mix quite nice. The paint's very soft. It's got. Because it's artist quality, it's made in gum Arabic, so you know it's got that nice kind of premium feel to it. Okay. Give it a good old mix. Yeah. And then a bit of a stipple. There you go. And then what we'll do is we'll decide where your light's coming from, okay? <coughs> so okay. It, for me, it's easier to do the right side. Right. Darker, because I'm right-handed. But if you want to switch the sides, it's up to you how you work on this. No, it's just because I'm sort of after standing in front of it. Just because you stood yeah. to that side, yeah. 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 So, I want to gently stipple up the right side, but gently stipple. gently stipple. So I'm putting like a shadow side to the tree. Hopefully you can see that. If we can get, can we get close into that? Is that possible? So you can see where I'm stippling the shadow. In. I might have put a bit, a bit too much on. So just give it a little tap on the tissue then, if you feel okay. you put too much on. I feel it's a bit dark. So a gentle tap. Can I take it down? Yeah, yeah, just work it in, yeah. Okay. To work it across. If you're careful and you use the tall hairs of the brush, yeah, the edge, yeah, you can actually stipple up the right side of some of the branches to be. Right side of the branches. It does help if your tongue pops out, by the way. Baker, I know what my right is. <laughs> I'm just talking out loud. <laughs> right, because you're Have I ever brown, done it? No, that's okay. But because your brown's quite it's dark, definite, isn't it? Yeah. I clean your brush really well. Clean my brush really well. Give it a good rinse around. Okay. And then a bit of a sort of pinch in that tissue, or even just a good few taps. Yeah. So your brush is damp, and then if you stipple over the edge of the brown... Sort of go back over it? Yeah, like this. It'll soften the brown into the green. Oh! So you're blending. There you go. So that's what, that's what watercolour does well. It lets you soften it together. Well, I've gone over a little bit, but... That's okay. Just with a few branches. Okay. Nice. That's good. Okay. Sorry. And then hanging around um, down here... We have the finer brush, which is the uh, rigger brush again this from one? the One Day Special. Yeah. Yes, the size two, beautiful tool. Yeah. And uh, I'm just getting some more colour run out of it. And I chose the wrong one. There we what go. are you doing? The brown? The it's sepia, the warm sorry. sepia. Yeah. So yeah. you've got some left, yeah. Yeah. So a bit of a rinse, a bit of a tap on the side, shake the drips off, and then we'll take the warm sepia. Yes. And we'll take a nice healthy chunk and a bit of water 
right. touch more colour as well, actually, yeah. for you. A bit more, yeah. Touch more colour. Nice colour for trees, this one. Okay. Now, if you sort of rotate the brush through your fingers, once you've got it full of colour, but if you do that over the edge of your palette, yeah. it makes it even more pointy. And if you hold your brush like a pen, try and rest on your board if you can. Yeah. And have a go at painting the branches coming out of the ivy. Okay. Use the tip of the brush rather than the whole brush. So I'm resting on the paper and sort of branching out. So I'm painting away, imagine a wiggly branch. Are you... That's it? Yeah. Sort of painting out. Okay. Rest on your paper like you're doing perfect. And then you can just get the nice. Mm. Put as many as you like on it. It's quite a nice thing to do when you can turn a cactus into a tree. Huh. And obviously you keep adding the branches gradually appear from all of those areas. Sorry, I've gone totally quiet, everybody. Actually, there might be some people who go, good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> See, at the minute, I've painted very much <coughs> a right-handed tree. Yeah. Because I'm stood to the right. So, once I've put in quite a few of these nice, fine... Yeah, you can really get that fine, those branches. fine What tips. I'll do is I'll turn this over to do the other side. It's much easier especially on an easel, to paint away from the tree <coughs> and paint in the direction the branch grows. But that's great, yeah? Is it that's all right? Brilliant, yeah. I'm just had a few more finer ones, you know, to the tips as well. But this nice brush, it's in your one day, I suppose. It's a beautiful pointy rigger brush. It really works nice. And it allows you to create some wonderful, wonderful pointy branches. Oh, that looks amazing, Matthew. That's an Australian pine. That. It is. <laughs> the, um, when you teach a workshop and you start painting branches, yeah. the whole room goes quiet. Yeah, I'm just Because saying. everyone just you know, concentrates on it. I'll turn this the right way so you can see what we've got so far. But you see that nice effect. And again, that's just using the colours from the one yeah. day. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to come out of this bit as well, like you. You feel better rotating your board, you know, if it's easier for you. Okay. There's no harm in doing that. I'm going to paint in some fence posts down here as well. I think I'm going to I'm going to mess myself up if I turn it around. <laughs> oh, look how quick the time's gone! Time flies when you're painting away. I just put a bit of an old rustic um, a gateway. Yeah. All the supermarkets are also available. Ah, look at that. That looks amazing. And then you can pop some shadows with the brown as well, if you want to. Yeah. Optional things, of course. Uh, we've got time to put some uh, some leaf on the tree as well, yeah? We've got two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. Okay. I haven't done a fence. I'll wait for the trees, okay. uh, for the leaves. We'll not take a fence to that then. No, I don't. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll pick up the tree brush again. Okay. Nice and clean. Pick up the tree brush. Have you got some green left? Yeah. Make sure you... Shake off the excess and give it a bit of a bit of a tap and straight into a big thick blob of green. Big thick stir blob it, of green. Stir it. Stir it around. Okay. And stipple oh, it. I'll yeah, that's put fine, it into yeah. The brown you can do one. it in there. No, it's good. Okay. It's good. It's good. Brown and green do make a nice natural green anyway. Okay. And then of course very gentle taps. Very gentle taps this time because you want it to be more individual. Okay. Got so it. less pressure. Every tap of the brush on the paper will give you, you know, a good few dozen leaves. And that's the thing about these tree brushes. It's random, gentle pressure is all that's required. And it's a nice, easy way of painting a, a tree. Oh, that's lovely. That's a classic spring tree, really, you know, very yeah. little leaf, nice, bright, vivid colours. Yeah. A nice way to create a, a spring picture. I need probably need some more branches, but we're running That's out. That's fine. Time. That's okay. That's it's good. That's good stuff. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, there. That's where I need to do it. Never mind. Well done. Is that all right? That's excellent. Yeah, I love it. Brilliant. Needs a bit more. I need some more branches, she says. But um, uh, Baker's gone. Are you done, Baker? Is that all right? <laughs> absorbed into that. Yeah, that's oh. lovely. That's Yay. beautiful. Well done. I've got to get my mum into this. A round this. of applause. Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love to get my mum into this because she does oils, but I reckon she'd be really good at. at yeah. This. Yeah. Oils is, I work very similar to oils, you know, using strong colours. Yeah. So, absolutely. And the brushes do work nice with all, all mediums, acrylic oils and watercolour. Lovely. Thank you very much, Thank Matthew. You. So we will just finish off the hour then. 40% uh, of the stock has gone. Again, just to point out here that you've got your DVD, your fantastic DVD, exclusive to us here at Hachanda. I mean, I've had loads of fun just doing that. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, on there, you'll be able to make the most beautiful painting of a spring woodland. There's two hours of Matthew um, basically guiding you through. Uh, then you're also getting the three fantastic paint so you've got the violet the sepia tone and you've also got the uh, green plus you've got your two brushes your um, tree and texture brush and your imitation sable brush and also you've got that fantastic cotton paper pack of your watercolor paper pack which is just jolly marvelous that's really good quality stuff and then if we may this is the finished article that you're going to make which camera am i on there you go um that you're going to be able to make it's absolutely beautiful just with three colors seriously don't sit on the fence remember we're approaching 40 percent of the stock gone of the one day special thank you very much matthew thank you We'll see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Excellent. I really enjoyed that, but don't go anywhere. We've got a fantastic happy hour coming up next. We have got Dolly Dimple's happy hour and I believe Charmaine is going to be joining us live via Skype. Then you can catch a repeat of this one day special and after that, Sentimentally Yours, second anniversary. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company 
launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well, so we've got so much to bring to you at Hachanda. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Make sure you join us for the Dreamy Shows on Hachanda. Hello, good evening. Boy, have we got a show for you. It is a happy hour show with Donny Dimple's fantastic goodies. Now, seriously, we've got some amazing savings. Pretty much everything is half price or better, but because it's a happy hour, you guessed it, it's only for this hour. So at 10 o'clock this evening, all the prices will be going back up. Again, it's another one that you do not want to miss out on. Look at this to start with. This is a fantastic embellishment kit. Look at this, we've got gift bags, we've got gem packs, we've got um, lace cotton or cotton lace, I should say. Um, we've got wooden buttons, metal embellishments, flowers. Let's go through a little bit of these then, shall we? And then uh, I think we'll be able to go to um, our lovely Charmaine in a short while via Skype. So, right, I love the fact you're getting gift bags, aren't they? So sweet, lovely size. You're getting two at Two of these <laughs> the gift bags. I was like, that's not a gift bag. Um, one is in your sort of like craft and one's got a lovely set of spots on them. You're getting five packs of your gem stickers. Look at these. And that's fabulous, actually, because what you can do is get your alcohol markers on them. You can change the colour. Absolutely love the butterflies. You've got some pearl hearts. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Look at those butterflies there. And then also you've got um, those ones with a sort of raised um, centre. Then you're getting three metres of cotton lace. And I know that Charmaine has purposely put in a neutral colour because then again, you can use your alcohol markers to change the colour and tone it with whatever you're doing. I love these. Look at these embellishments. Alice in Wonderland inspired. You've got that card. What else have you got in there? You've got a fabulous teapot. Uh, you've got the, uh, the rabbit, the white rabbit. How fantastic is this? Lovely, lovely, lovely. They're all metal. And then you've got handmade flowers. Now these are substantial. Look at that, these are substantial, but they are still nice and lightweight um, so that they'll be absolutely fine on your project. You're then getting 60 wooden buttons, there you go. Now there are assorted designs and sizes, but you can see that, um, look, that one is etched and this one, so oh, we're really busy at the moment. Well, wow, nice and colourful. You might get some that are flower shaped like so. Who doesn't love a good button? Uh, these can either be literally for your sewing projects or you pop them onto your mixed media projects or your cards. 
very very useful indeed look at this we've got a nice finished sample here isn't this absolutely beautiful and you can see some of the embellishments are on there we've got those beautiful flowers isn't this so stunning look at the design we are super busy the phone lines in fact i would say if you can go to the website and shop ahead oh actually a lot of you are right that's good to know have you seen the price when i said half price and then i said better than half price i didn't think it was this much better than half price um you've got a 35 pounds and 50 pence saving but only up until the end of the hour it is just 14.99 that's all it is for this entire embellishment kit wow i mean if you if you want to you could split up some of the items you could keep some you could because for this price go for it 14.99 you should be paying 50 pounds and 49 pence, but we are absolutely not. Uh, 316799 is your item number. Then moving on, we have got some lovely dies. These are the Dolly Dimples Ultimate Florals, uh, floral dies and accessory set. Uh, so you can see some lovely samples around showing what you can do with these. They're great, aren't they? Let's have a look. You've got arrows, all sorts, lovely little hearts, we've got some tabs and then we've got now they're quite large those aren't they lovely big flourishes excellent look at those those almost look like they're keys on the end don't they yeah very nice you've got leaves flourishes and as i said you've got so many fantastic extras there you go you can see that the clock is on the screen only 55 minutes remaining to get your fantastic set of happy hours um, now have a little look at these wonderful samples and then you can wow Sorry, that was a total wipeout. Oh dear. Oh, moving on, she says, so sorry. It's because I'm too excited because they're really cool. Right, these are half price basically. Um, you're saving £15, it's £14.98. Item number is 367789. Have a look at the website just while we get this sorted. Okay, now this pick and mix is absolutely flying. You are choosing any two stamp set, stamp set. So they're all numbered. So do go to the website and have a little look. Now, Charmaine very kindly let me have a play with some of these yesterday. So I was in my element having a lovely little colouring time. I'll show you some of the samples that I have uh, done a little bit later on. But you're choosing any two. And as if by magic, by the way, um, everything sorted. Jolly marvellous. Thank you, my lovely Kirsty. Now, any two for just ten ninety nine, half price. So you're paying five pound fifty per stamp set here. Um, right, set one. Here we are. Ha take a little look at this. And all of these now. Um, the lovely Charmaine, she let me into a little secret that they've all kind of got nice stories behind them. So I was having a little look at these stories. I might read some of these stories out a little bit later on. Um, right, so we've got our lovely set one. They do have names and I'll find the names in a second. Um, and that, well, um, yeah, they're called set one on the website, but I've got the top secret. Actually, I'm not going to move that because I'll knock it all over. Names in a short while. And we can chat to um, uh, Charmaine about that. And now let me just turn them around because I want you to see the size of the stamp. And also what I love is that the inspiration has been put on the packages for you. So when I was having a little play with these yesterday, I basically used these as a guide. I took my, you know how absolutely obsessed I am with my Sakura gel pens, my sparkle pens. And I took my sparkle pens and I've been um, colouring a few of them, um, but they are absolutely stunning. And they've also got, some of them have got words on there. So you might find in this one, for example, you've got wedding, you've got engagement, um, you've got divorce. I like that. Congratulations on your divorce. Um, moving along then. We've got this beautiful flower. Set four on the website. Now this already is limited stock. So that's what we've named them on the website. Lim uh, so set four, limited already. Wow, and that's it. Um, moving along to set five here. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? They're so unusual as well. There's something so quirky and wonderful about them. Then here, like this is like where, set, where fairies can live. So we've got set six here. And then moving along, set seven. Oh my gosh, set seven is already limited. Good grief. I like that. And it's got, again got sentiment on. Have a blooming great birthday. Marvellous. OK, uh, then we're on now to, are we on set, what are we on, set eight now? 
Excellent. I've done a sample of this one, which I'll show you in a short while. Then set nine. Oh, this is a nice one. I hadn't seen this one. And then carrying along. This is set 10. Set 11. I'm sure you can count. So there you go. Just have a, I love that one. That's beautiful, isn't it? And that's got dream and everything. I've colored this one too. Again, I'll show you in a short while. Right. We are extremely, extremely busy. I am not surprised. These prices are absolutely cuckoo. Um, again, just to say it will be going up at the end of the hour. 51 minutes remaining to get it. Here's the website so that you can see how you can choose. Right, Katie, which ones are you going to choose? It's hard, isn't it? Right, you like that one? Okay, set five. Which one? Set 13. Oh, well, yes, I've done, done a little sample of that one as well. Jolly marvellous. Right, um, your fastest way to order is online at hachanda.com. <laughs> Dot com, dot com. It has gone really, really crazy out there. Um, so please do check out your baskets. Oh, oh no, we've had our first sell out. Set four. Gone. Gone. Take it away. And then there was how many? I can't remember. 13. There you are. Let's move this in. Excellent. Right, so without further ado, live via Skype, we're going to join Charmaine. Hello, Charmaine. Hi, how are y'all doing? Good, really good. Um, it is so busy. Can you believe we've already had a sellout already? I know, hazy daisy left the room. <laughs> it did indeed. Yes, I couldn't quite get to my notes quick enough to go through the names, but I'm sure that you'll help me. Um, so, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> oh, I'll go on. I'll sort it out then while you're doing your um, demos. That's what I'll do, because I've got the pictures behind here. And I nearly, well, you saw me wreck the pack shot the first time, didn't you? But, um, so. Oh, I did have to crease, crease me up. It really did. <laughs> You can imagine me behind there, boom, it'd be all over the place. Bless you. Hey, so whereabouts are you Skyping from then today, Charmaine? Dowie, not Australia, Lancashire. <laughs> not far from Manchester. It's been quite nice here today. Yeah, good stuff. So, because I, I think this is the first time you've done this before. It is. I was absolutely my pants. <laughs> Bless you. I didn't you. see it. No, it's all good. Right then, so what would you like to demo for us first before everything sells out then, Charmaine? Right, well, I, have, I was going to mix in Hazy Daisy, but Hazy can chill out somewhere. <laughs> so we will go with the Horn Jester. As you know, it's about the other half. Yes, I love this. We'll have to read out some of what you gave me a bit later on. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ready to switch over? Yep, let's do it. Okay. Cool, Leo. Try the other one. That's all right. There you go. Okay. I'll just need to move my lights because the lights were shining in my eyeballs. So now we'll move them over. Are they okay? Yep. I think so. That's good. Yep. Good to go. Yep. Good to go. Okay. Right. So I have got, um, which is stamp number five. Yep. And, and you can see it's well loved, well used. Absolutely. <laughs> and I did have a stash of them, didn't I? <laughs> you did I indeed. I kind of extras. Um, I had a set that I used to take to the shows with me. Okay. And I had a set for my, um, class, my craft room. And, you know, a spare one just in case. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Been a bit greedy on these sets, I tell you. <laughs> so, uh, inked it up and I'm using the archival, the Ranger archival ink pad. Yeah. It's a nice black ink pad there and yay good image Whew. yay that's so, perfect got that stamp so let's move the stamp to impress geezer away oh must give a shout out to john because i think he's tuned in just to have uh, hoops and giggles at me doing this i am so not in a technology oh so don't you worry me neither white on white so i think i'll just pop a piece of black underneath there then it's not too uh reeky deaky is that is that okay yep that looks good let's get started let's get ready to rumble so what we're going to do we are going to use maybe gilly gilly we are going to use some um, pencils cool um just very quickly a stock update the one that you're actually using which is set 11 on our website that is limited stock already Gee. <laughs> right. Luckily, luckily, yep. I've got one. 
it partially does. So. That's cool. Well, move it out shot. Here we go. So I'm going to use um, some wax pencils, and I'm going to start off with uh, doing a little bit of. Let me take my rest off a little bit of the leafage. So I'm going to go down the centre centre panel, and I'm just going to do circular motions down there because this is the area that I think is going to be the darkest. Does that make sense? It does totally. So I go for darker areas um, first. This is not always the case because sometimes I might want to do the light, and then we're going to add a little colour um, down the edge of the leaf as well, an area where I want it light. So. Sorry, dark. Do yep. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, right, just to let everybody know, set 11, the one that Charmaine is using, has technically sold out. Um, but don't worry, Charmaine, keep going with it. Yeah, don't worry. We've still got the others, so it's fine. Right, OK. Well, they all work. I mean, you'll see with the samples there, they all work perfectly with each other as companions. So yeah. they are really, really cool set to work with. And it's very hard to choose a favourite. Absolutely. And we all choose a favourite, but once you start playing around, now I wanted to do the, what do we call it, bog off buffer. Yeah, buy one, <laughs> get one free. I to do that. Yeah, because, you know, money's a little bit tight for some people at the moment. Yeah. And um, you don't always want the full set. Plus, I've brought the sets before where I've done them in sort of like two sets, if that makes sense. Yeah. So anybody who, who hasn't got certain ones or had bought individuals, could have the opportunity to get them as well. So that was the reason, be, you know, the method behind the madness on that one. Excellent. I don't think I've ever done a buy one, get one free before pick and mix then. No, it's but lovely. But I know I'm not going to get left with, you know, one lonely one on the shelf because they're all bees knees. Yeah. yeah. So what I've done is um, pretty much very similar to the packaging, actually. So just choosing areas that where I want my dark to be and then my light to be. So I'm going to stop there with that one and I'm going to go to a next colour. Now, when I'm using pencils, if I just move this over a little bit, I'm still in the right area. Um, I do like a circular motion like this and you can see that there's white space there. Now by leaving the white space instead of filling it in solid like that gives me the opportunity to go in and mix in some more colour. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, totally. If, if I've gone completely solid like that, nightmare to overload with more colour. And plus you waste your pencils. So I take my second colour and then I can blend back those. I think you'll see it better on here you can start to see where they are and um, the two colors start to blend together so my lighter one is mixing in with my dark one almost like when you're working with uh, watercolors as well but you're using the paper as a palette if that makes sense yeah. now you can go in with your baby oil and then you can blend it out again to make it even lighter if you want that way you really get the maximum from your pencils and you can use your little um, paper stumps as well to blend blend back out if that makes sense yeah so you've seen me do this before haven't you so you get the two colors nice shading on there yeah so you can see how that's coming on and then we go for um we'll start with um, a flower petal so Lovely. if i move this one out seeing as you've sold out of him i uh, just need to do another update oh wow that looks amazing so we'll come back to it just to let you know set one this one here, this has now gone. Gosh, we, I don't know oh. if we're going to have anything. Oh, gosh, and set 12. Oh, my word. Um, which one? Oh. This one? Which one? One along. This one. Okay, this one has now gone. That's it. No, that's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. Just keep going, Charmaine. Don't worry about changing your demos. <laughs> Oh, they are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, dear, dear, dear. That looks right, beautiful, Charmaine. That's stunningly coloured. So you can see, well, I started this at um, Stupid O'Clock this morning, and then I thought, stop, stop, you need demos. So you can see where I've added the colours, and I've mixed the two here. So we're going to do the same technique. So just like we was doing on, on the leaf there, I'm, going to, I'm using two colours now, an orange and a red. So you just choose colours that you know are going to mix together, yeah. and you can see how I've left this area. So then I fill in that area as much as I want to blend those two colours together, which then then will give me a third colour. Fab. As simple as that. Now the thing with doing pencils, it takes quite a while. So you've seen me use um, either watercolour and then go in over the top with the wax pencils 
and then you've also seen me use alcohol pens and go in over the top now I'm sorry I'm gonna have to turn it so I'll keep that and I have to turn it so my arms are in a comfortable position just like I, when I'm cutting out I need it to be comfortable for me does that make sense it does totally <laughs> Makes sense to me. So <laughs> all I'm doing is filling in those um, little wee gaps there, round and round the circles. The more the more coverage that you put on, the more it's going to blend. And you can also go in with your little stumps and blend it out. But I'm blending with a lighter colour. And then if I've left enough room, I can go back in. Yeah. And add. Oh, I think that needs sharpening. It can feel it going. Yeah, it's broken. Oh. Um, Charmaine, I'm so sorry to interrupt because I hate doing this, but I've got to let everybody know that set seven has now gone. Um, I have to let everybody know, obviously, for ASA purposes, but yep, that one has now gone. Set seven. Lovely. Okay, back to you, Charmaine. Carry on with this one? Yeah, yeah, all good. Okay, so just adding a bit more colour to that one. And same again around the outside edges feel guilty using this and you can't buy it don't worry I mean if no. you want to change your demo you can but if you haven't got anything then don't you worry because we we haven't got anything I've got, <laughs> <more to you. laughs> I've got wings I can wing it uh, bless you <laughs> right okay but you get you get to see literally how I've done it the the thing with the pencils is it takes time the more you more you add the more you go over the top the more colour you add, the stronger it gets, and this really does need sharpening now. Yeah. So move that about. And then, as I said, if I take um, my baby oil, let's do, let's do that, jump to it. Or shall we, shall we go for another one? Because I really do feel guilty. Um, hey, now, I'll, shall one? I ask Katie, or what have you got there? Uh, we've sold out I've of that, that one. one. Sold out. <laughs> Yes, we've got that one. We got that. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Move that one to one side. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> oh, we could do the dies. Sorry, what did you say, Charmaine? Would you, would you like me to do the dies and mix them with some flowers? Uh, I'll just ask Katie. Yeah, she says yeah. Whatever you fancy. Move that again then. <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. Okay, here's the machine. Can we see that? Yeah, all over good. Yeah. Oh, good. Right, right. So, move you over. Move you a bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Get some dye. Luckily, I have lots of these all cut out. But of course, you want to see them cook too. So, oh, ah, well, we won't do that one because it's leaking about. So, what I'm going to do is I've got um, two of the dies um, out of the set. You've got loads of samples there. Sorry, I've got to get my left and my right. My left and my right, there we are. We've got those two, and I'm just going to take a sheet of card and pop that in, and I'm going to position it one like that and one like that. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, it does. will do that. Then I'm going to take my arrows and I'm going to have an arrow going there and the other one has just popped off my magnetic sheet, the naughty devil. And then I'm going to take the heart and the smaller heart and pop that inside there. So I'm just going to do a chunk of cutting, okay? Yeah. And it'll probably wiggle and not be where I want it to be. Well, it will it be fine, won't it? So where's the other piece gone that goes on top of it? Where was that? Did I take it out? Did you see what I did with it? This um, is why I like being in the studio. Ah, there you are. <laughs> You're not here to help me. Oh, I feel lost. And the camera crew who can zoom in and make me go in the right places. I miss you guys. Oh, bless you. <laughs> but I, I couldn't physically get back here, do the packing and get back down again to do no. the show. It's no, just... we understand. That's all right. Yeah. So we've got that cut out and they're all popped out yeah so nice and easy mm -hmm. die cut in there we go and they've all got the nice little bevel edges on like all dies have yeah there we go 
so it makes it easier for colouring in. That, that's the boring bit, but at least you've seen some die cutting because people do like you to see you cutting them out. Absolutely, we okay. can cut them. Yep. Right, move that. You can go on the floor. You lot can go over where you were before. There we go. So you can sit on the table there. And what we've got here is we've got a drawer of prep. What I've done is I've glued them together. So say for example, let's get to that anon. So I've die cut it. It's great because you can do all your random bits of paper. Yeah. And then I glue them together like this. Yeah? Yep, can see. One on top of each other. Then when I've done that, I end up with, with them very, very thick like this. Can you see how yeah, thick that is? It's really, really thick, yeah. And it's it's like Malbo. It's it's like it's actually like MDF. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. All of these, the more layers, so you can rummage through all your random cardstock, you know, your lightweight ones, anything that you've got in these bundles of things. You know, we get, you know, th free things with magazines and stuff. And then what I've done, a lot of prep beforehand, is I've uh, gone crazy this afternoon and I have used a couple of my stencils. So this is the maid stencil and this is the dots and dashes. Now you see this piece here? Yeah. This is the negative. Oh, that's so, clever, yeah. So your negative is, here we go. So the negative, I die cut twice, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then a third time, the chevrons. And then I've used um, Lynette's uh, gel medium. So if you can, I don't know, can you see, yeah, you yeah, can see you that. Can, kind yeah. How's my camera Brilliant. action of the week? It's uh, very good, so Shami. So I've used that over the top and it almost makes it plasticified. But what I did is I placed it on and then I put some paste through it so it's raised up. Now, of course, you could stick it on top of each other, but that's how I decided that I was going to do it. So I've made a stencil as well. And then I've used my stencils and I just clattered on some paint randomly. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be background. So if we move that one now, is that OK to see? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just move that so it's not so wonky. Is that? Is that? Yay? Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a scene. So I have die cutted some of the um, ovals, laid them up together with PVA glue, and uh, two of the flourishes and actually laid them up together as well. So they're going to be like a focal point, okay? And then we will have some of the flowers. So because they're thick, I can then manipulate them and shape them. Sounds awful saying that, manipulating my flowers on my petal, should I say. And then I've done the same with this one, which is going the opposite way. And the same again with another one, which has run off somewhere. Oh, you're there. Like, ah, that's the way I want it. So you can see, ones are my cream card, some of them are my mixed media, and we lay them up like so. Mm -hmm. Is this making sense? That looks lovely, that composition. Now, I've stamped and fussy cut out and coloured some of the flowers. I'm sorry, some of them are gone. Tell me, tell me when I've placed one that hasn't gone. Uh, that one's all right, I think. <laughs> OK, now, because I've coloured them in really dark, when I place them down on a dark background, it's screaming out that I've stamped it out onto my white or my cream card. So what I do there, so this is a little bit of a tip, is I'm taking a grey alcohol, alcohol pen. I said alcoholic the other day. Did you? <laughs> I did, yeah. I said my pens have gone off to it. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, you know me and my words. So... <laughs> Fuddle them all. So just going around the edges. I mean, a lot of people do this with like ink pads and things. Yeah. But I'm just going to use like um, a grey, a grey alcohol pen on the edges there, just to tone that down a touch. Yeah, it so finishes it, it off as well, doesn't it, Charmaine? It, it does indeed. It's silly little tips like this, you know, that we've been doing for many, many years, that are absolute godsend. They really are. Uh, just little finishing tips. Right. So let's let's get busy with making this pretty. So I would like to colour tint this. What colour would you like? Would you like pink? Would you like turquoise? Would you like light green to go with this background? Shall we, shall we do a bit of a contrast with green? Okay. 
here we go. So I knew I should have got out the three colours. If I were doing a Facebook Live, I would have had a few options of colours ready, wouldn't I? <laughs> that would have been professional. Um, and get that here. Yeah, so we've got a couple there. You go back and shop. It's quite handy being at home, this. <laughs> I'm getting into it now. I'm never coming back. <laughs> All my stuff's here. I don't have to pack it up. <laughs> Oh dear, I snorted. Right, so you said green, yeah? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Can we see that? Yeah, perfect. And move the lights if you need. One, two, three, four. That's better. Right. So we've got lime green on there. And just so that that lime green ties in, I'm going. I'm not going to faff about with um, drying it because you'll get the visual. Yeah. So you'd use, you'd either let it dry naturally or you'd use your heat gun. Wow, look at that pop. <laughs> that does, <laughs> no, doesn't it? No, of course it? we've got to get it to all tying together. So we'll do the leaves um, green with a, uh, with a touch of blue, which is a contrast again. Yeah. Yep. So I'll bring that one back in. I quite like the effect it's done there. Now, if I position them carefully like so we might get a cool background we might not oh i reckon but you will now if i give these a quick blast can we see what you made oh sure okay i got i got i i actually had such a lot of fun coloring these um yeah yeah i'm really chuffed um so we can just do a quick look while you're um yeah, here we Spritzing. go. Spritzing. So I used my, basically I used the inspiration on the packaging. They're only simple, but I was really happy with them. So I'll probably post these on my Facebook page as well. Um, wow, but I did, that's um, it. Yay! Um, so I did a nice little birthday card using this one. And then I did, oh actually, part of me, okay, I'm not going to say what theme this is because a certain somebody's going to get get this shortly and they might be watching it's not a divorce one is it no <laughs> i love that we've got a nice little card there for a certain event coming up nice and, i love that and then here we go we've got this one with the lovely fairy lights i really like this and then yeah you know that that changes color when the fairies are home it does i was reading about it yeah i was in fact I did, let me see if I can find it, hang on a second, because you gave me some fabulous notes here. Um, now, do the stories actually come with the stamps, or this is just your sort of personal no, thing? No, this was, this was the start of us doing certain ones. I think there's, um, we've got the Christmas ones, which have um, the stories behind them, but we didn't, we didn't get it done in time, but they are on our website, they're also on our Facebook page. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So they're there freely available for somebody to have a look at them. But uh, our Sue does the most amazing little stories. And as I told you, we have two lots of stories. You know, a dark one that can't go to wear and one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. that. Okay. Um, the yeah. I've, I've, I found this. So yeah, this is the Homely Bells, and it says. Yes. Homely Bells is a favourite of all fairies in the garden. And then it tells you about how you're planting the seed and everything. Um, and then it says, when it first starts to grow, it does not have doors and windows. As it matures, they start to appear. Um, it gets its colour from the fairy that ch um, chooses to make it into a home. Once they have chosen a colour, it remains that way. Um, its spots change colour depending on whether its fairy is in or out and it will not tolerate other creatures trying to move in um, and ejects intruders out from its top. There you go. I love these little Must stories. Be <laughs> I love that. I think that's adorable. <clears throat> anyway, should we come back to you, Charmaine? <clears throat> Only if you wish. Yeah, of course Okay, so I've just got some gel medium on the back of these, so I'm positioning them um, where I want them. So we're going to start with middle for ditto. So I haven't done them full length of um, the stems. Yeah. And one of the things that I was going to do, I'm just going to flash this one at you, is um, Ooh, I was going that. to do the long ones. You, you'll see that you've got the rolls there. And I was going to do the long ones where you do a roll, but I thought it'd make quite a nice card. And I could colour the, out, the outside edge and leave everything black and white and then give it to somebody for them to colour the inside That's edge. That's a good idea, yeah. Um, 
And then that's only because I didn't have time to colour it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and are you still there, Charmaine? Yeah, bear with me. Um, it's, it's, oh, it's the way you. <laughs> Another thing just popped on. Right, so what we've got is we'll get a blob on the back, but this is still wet. But let me show you where I sprayed. Can you see that spray there? Yeah, you get a twofer then. Yeah, you do. I love my twofer. So that will be another project that will include something that I'll be bringing to you. Yay, prep done. <laughs> ah, right, blob on the back. Okay. Pop that one down. Stay. Uh, it is Friday night, isn't it? I had a feeling it was Saturday night. Don't no, know it's Friday. It is Friday. Yeah. So a couple of blobs on the back of here. If you want to do a recap, yeah. I'll just get um, glued bits glued down into position. Fabulous. Nice, because I'm sure we've got loads of updates. Okay, Dave. Thank yeah, you, Charmaine. You're welcome. Cool. Um, so that was Charmaine live via Skype. Right. This happy hour has gone absolutely crackers. Look at this. Now, you've only got 26 minutes remaining to get all of these happy hour deals. We've had so many sellouts, so we do need to let you know about them. Uh, first off, then, we've got this wonderful embellishment pack. Now, you're getting two fabulous gift bags. They're hiding there. Two fabulous gift bags. You're getting five packs of all of your wonderful gems. And again, you can use your alcohol markers on here to change the colour, to tone it with your project, should you wish. Then, look at these embellishments. They're beautiful. Um, they're metal, obviously. And it, Alice in Wonderland inspired. You've got your bunny rabbit. There's the little, if I pick this up, you've got the um, card there, Ace of Spades. And then you've got like teapots. And then behind here, I hadn't realised, you've got some, oh, it's really hard to show you, you've got some tiny little brads. Look at those. Carrying on then, you've got your lovely lace, cotton lace. Again, um, no, you've got three metres here. Again, you can colour them any which way you want using alcohol markers. You've also got this set where you've got some flowers, really sturdy flowers. There you are. They're sort of paper flowers. And then you've got loads of buttons, so many buttons. Uh, some have got flowers on, some have got um, etched uh, detail on, uh, 60 buttons in total. Now that is fantastic. A massive £35.50 saving. Crackers. Uh, just £14.99. But again, you haven't got long to get it. 316799 is your item number. Then we move on to the fabulous dies. Yep, half the stock has gone. Wow, you've got so many dies here, 17 in total. They're really good for your scrapbooking, um, for your journaling. I love that we've got little arrows for your planning even. Uh, you've got hearts, you've got tabs, you've got the massive flourishes and leaves. Loving those. And we do have some samples. So um, just here you can see um, some of the dies on here. That's cool, isn't it? Again, using it on the front of a journal. We've got um, a lovely little sample here. Oh, I love the shoe. I think that's fantastic, isn't it? Look at that. But you can see some of the die cuts all the way around it. Uh, we've got a nice sample up here. Look how mixed media it is. That's got the heart. And then we've got um, this lovely little tin. This lovely little tin here. Look at that with the flowers on. And then this, just here, uh, we've got a booklet with loads of detail in. Hang on. I've got this the right way. Let's open this up. Look, you've got the heart. Uh, way you've got loads and lovely wonderful pockets you can see there are the flourishes and you can pull out some of these tabs if you want to there you go I love him he's really quirky but using some of these dies on here absolutely here you go there's one of the dies absolutely stunning I love this wonderful mixed media project it's gorgeous isn't it look at all of these pages again you've got the leaves and the flourishes you've got the arrows Fantastic. All right, uh, half price this one. Uh, it's £14.98, uh, £15 saving. Item number is 367789. Right, then we've got a fabulous pick and mix for you. These are the ones we've got left. I'd love to show a few samples as well because we've been sent some samples. Okay, right, I can tell you. So this is set two, but um, with the sort of the whole theme that... Um, that Charmaine has written. These are the moon bells. 
and it says highly intoxicating and scented v um, various bright colors with glossy spots small um, trumpet flowers with large stamens and it's really cool and it says so this is this is like you know all mythical as in you know lovely stories magical uses use the petals of moon bells in love potions mm. then the next one that we've got this is set three on the website that's what we've called it this is limited stock i really enjoyed coloring this one this one Coral flower, uh, a, fr a very friendly and chatty flower, very regal red petals and blue edges, um, but um, does come in various colours. Red is the most common. I like this bit. Likes the company of other flowers in the garden, but loves to gossip and cannot keep a secret. Ooh. Set five is next on the website. And this one is the carnivorous poppy. Again, highly scented and prized by perfume makers. Uh, magical uses, make into pouches and hang on the front door to ward off negative energy. Oh, I've got another sellout. This one. This one has gone. Sorry. I'll move my, move my notes. There we are. Uh, set six coming up. What's this one? Oh, I've already read that one. Lovely. And then set six. Set nine is the next one. Um, this one is your trailing tendrils. Oh, I like this one. Highly scented and um, what's that say? Oh, I can't read that one, but it's highly scented. Grows in the damp or boggy parts of the garden. Likes its roots um, to be submerged in water. Red pollen on the ends of long stamens are sticky and glossy and are used like, ten um, like tentacles to catch insects flying by. There you are. That's that one. Set eight is next, and that one is your vanity lily. Um, there you are. And then following on, because I know we need to get back to Charmaine. Set ten, winter wart. Next. Set thirteen, flower of woe. That one is limited there. And the last but not least, uh, set fourteen. Oh, I like this one. Creeping root. So the little story behind this it's mostly known for its ability to uproot and follow you around the garden could you imagine that'd be awesome it's very stealthy and can appear quite creepy it will move around so if you don't want it to appear at your patio door at night stake it down <laughs> it will complain a lot uh, but we'll go it will get used to it it has no real scent but it's said that a potion made from its spots makes you invisible Ooh, I love all this. I love magic and stuff. Anyway, right. These are so busy. You are picking any two. We've had so many sellouts here. Any two there for ten ninety nine. Yeah, two for the price of one. Have I got time for a few quick samples? Just a few because we've been sent some. Um, this is by Anne. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, she's used a few glossy accents there on those lovely spots. Um, this one is by... I might be showing you some that have sold out, but still... There you go. I'm not sure who that's by. Beautifully coloured here. We've got another one. Oh, look at this. Adding some little gemstones. Remember, you can get those gemstones in that accessories pack. Here's another beautiful one. Look at that. Look at the colouring. I had so much fun colouring these. I cannot tell you. They're beautiful. I'll do one more here because I know Sharma. Oh, no, two more. I'll tell you why because I've just seen something that's been um, sewn or painted onto fabric. How good is that? Oh no, okay, set 13, light blue flowers at the bottom. That one is also extremely limited. Oh, is it that one? That one, that one's very, very limited. Okay, without further ado then, I'm gonna hand back to you, Charmaine, live via Skype. Oh, dude, <laughs> I love the way you tell them stories. Oh, but I loved reading them. Being, being staked down. So <laughs> this is kind of my finish, finished piece and it, it's actually a few layers of um, my mixed media card and it's going to be one of my books so I'm not going to do anything else with that because it's going to be finished off for another project if that makes sense. Yeah. So what I've got now is the negative, the, the waste, my tufa. Yeah. So when I was spraying um, what I've done is I've just taken the stamp um, I added in the heart while we were off because I suddenly thought I need a heart in there. So if I, I bring that over, you can see I added in the heart. Okay, so I quite like that. And if we move that back, then I've stamped out this one, which I noticed I was checking to see what we've got and what we've not got. 
and then um, you get some lovely little butterflies and um, what do they call them now? Little um, ladybirds. Oh yes. Lady how can I forget ladybirds? So I'm just going to pop a tiny little ladybird on there. Um, I know there's a sample that you held up um, that had a little border of ladybirds, uh -huh. which is what I was actually going to do on the first one that sold out, was going to do a little tiny border of ladybirds. So you, you can just use the tiny little elements that are on there um, and mix them up. Let's get that stamp. So here we go. And this is the advantage of having a stamp press as well. So there's a tiny little baby ladybird. Doesn't it look cute? Shall I hold him up a bit? Yeah, go on then. Mm, let's see if I can keep it. There we go. How's that? Nice, you yeah. See? He's so cute. He is. So we got ladybird on there. And as you've seen, there's loads and loads of sentiments in there. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. We'll have a little flutter by and we'll pop a little flutter by maybe there. So just slide that over a bit because I'm working on a 12 by 12. Is that? Just check. Yay. Do somebody make you one of these as 12 by 12 because I like to work in 12 by 12. So I'll pop that down and I think what I'll do is I will use colour. So I think to add some more colour to this piece, I'm just going to go bright pink. So I'm, I'm going to use what's it called citrus flower how about that <laughs> citrus flower for a flower and we'll pop that on there um pop that down and there it is so i've not actually done a whole heap of color into that at all in fact i've not picked up a paintbrush a pencil or anything this was my splats from um, my masking off areas and i did one stamp to the center there and Use the coloured ink pad, so I put that back in its pot, tidy up as we go. Been good now. And all I'm going to do is just add some pencil detail to this little bit here. So uh, we'll just add a little bit of green. How are we doing for time? Uh, you've got uh, 10 minutes, Charmaine. Woohoo! So a little bit of green. I'm not going to heavily um, colour it, just a little bit. Just a few little splashes on there and down and then a little bit in there should have gone for me I'll call it instead of being faster just a touch of color on there same again here and I think it's just going to be a case of the white gel pen a little bit up here so don't need it all to be green at least it can be whatever color you want can't they? absolutely so we'll go for the white gel pen and where the colour is on here, just make sure it's working, yeah. Okay, a little bit in there, a couple of little dots on here. There we go. And I think finally, well, I'm quite happy with that, I would just add some colours to the balls on the end there. So we'll go with the alcohol pens because we can. And we want a bright pink which is which is that one will do nice there we go uh, just a touch on that and again and again and then we can put little random words on go and there and the white gel pen which is always the favorite trick of everybody's little bit there and there and again here we go there's you know so many possibilities that you can do with these i mean yeah. i was stamping them in little ledger pages um i was doing my big long borders my scrolls that are there yeah um but if we trim that down and then mount it onto some black so i'm just all i'm going to do now is just move them out of my get off move them out of the machine oh put my little ladybird away because he would get lost and we don't want lost ladybirds so move that to one side and trim this down a bit so i was using the 12 by 12 because i wanted to sort of mask my work area and not spray my computer yes. which to be brutally honest with you i've already done that <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a lot of the time I'd spray in a cardboard box, but that's very hard to see yeah. <laughs> if you're trying to do um, a Skype. 
Not that I've ever done with Skype before this way, but when I do my lives, if I spray in a cardboard box, all you see is a cardboard box. So we can get rid of some of the splats that yep. we don't want, cool. and we can trim that down. And the falling bit, but there we go, I'll get rid of that. Put that to one side. And now it's a little bit more workable for my stamp press, which mm -hmm. is underneath that. Get that one there, like that. And I'm just looking, I could see those samples that I was doing all over the floor were through them. Oh, bless you. <laughs> How dare people buy things. So the stamp, the sentiment that's on this one is friends are like flowers. You choose those. Um, those that make you smile. Yeah. Yeah. I make a lot of people smile. Usually when they're laughing at me. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Laughing with me. That's right. <laughs> yes. It's okay to laugh. Laugh at somebody if you're laughing with them. That's the, that's the one, isn't it? Right, so we've got that one. So, of course, that can go to anybody because it could even be an anniversary card, couldn't it? Because, um, obviously, if you're married to somebody, you've got to kind of like them and be the friend, haven't oh, you? Oh, absolutely. So, move that. Or maybe not. <laughs> I've just heard somebody mutter downstairs. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. So, if I move that away... How's that look? Yep, looking fantastic. Bit wonky donker, but there we go. Can I show you a couple of samples that I've got here that absolutely? I didn't yeah, we've got a, we've got five minutes, so fill your boots. Right. So when I was last there with the Kimono girls yesterday, was it day before? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. only yesterday. Okay. This is how they all work in conjunction with each other. So. We've got, these are the dies that are on the show, this one here. Yeah. So you can see that's with the kimono girls and the um, butterflies. Okay. Because that went back in that box and I left you a pile. This is the kimono girls that are suited and you can see the same dies that I've used mm -hmm. here. And if I carry on inside, so you can see they all mix and match mm. with each other. And this is the thing about our ranges. Yeah. We try to do things that work in conjunction with each other. So you can see that she's used them throughout that one. Um, this is with the butterflies that were on the other day, which I think there's, a, I'm not too sure if there's any left in the stock, but also the girls that are on the website. And it's the same flower again there and the leaf. I can move that one. And they open this one up and there's a pile in here as well. So let me see one more. Hang on. Yeah. So this is the negative space. So like what I did to do the spray, yeah. that's the negative piece, and she's used it more of the positive piece. Um, and the same again here. These are the negative. So she's cut out the pink. She'll have used that somewhere else. Sorry to say she, so, but um, and you can see it throughout. Just adding some little doodles in there. Yeah, perfect. And she did this last year and it's stunning and it's still amazing. Um, just is, just very quickly, Charmaine, just because you're talking about yep. the dies, we're just showing you the dies on screen now, half price there. Sorry, then back to you, Charmaine. Um, right, if I grab the dies. Yep. No, this is a wee bit, a wee tad, wee tad boring, but one of the th one of the special ones in this one, in, in my opinion, and I was really, really pleased with that, is um get it out there we go come on if you put them all in one box together get tangled up and it really annoys me so move it off there move that back is if we get that one is this one cool now this is really a delicate gorgeous Die. and you get the you get the the left and the right and when I was first doing it I thought do we need the left and the right well yes because you get that beautiful beveled edge when you turn it over the other way it's more like a harsh cut if that makes sense anybody who die cuts knows exactly what I'm talking about so you get these beautiful flourishes that you can then chop up and if we bring that one back in that we did before if you want to chop it into them you can make like spreads so if you want to add more embellishments to your piece when you've got the left and the right you can just keep going like that obviously white on white is not very good so it'll pop you over a darker area and you can see that you can start to get more depth to it does that make sense 
Oh, yes, then, it does, totally, yep. Then you've also got in there as well, which all goes together, is you've got one that's like this. Uh-huh. Now, if we bend that in half, now what I've actually done is I've die cut this onto my 250 um, card with some sticky sheets on. Right. And, and if we wanted to make a tab, we can place that there, like so. I've got gunk on my finger. We can bend it round like this. And I'll just turn it gentler. Bend, sorry. There we go. And I'll turn it back. Sorry about that. That's all right. There we go. Move, move them out of the way. And you've then now got a nice little tab for it. Now, if you move it further that way, you can leave a hole if it's not sticky. Mm -hmm. And you could pop a pencil in there if you wanted. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, Charmaine, bless you, we are yes. coming to, to the end of the show. Um, I wonder if you'd like to um, rearrange the camera again so then we can see you to say goodbye. Lovely stuff. Um, so I'm just going to have one last quick look. This is all we've got left. We've had so many fantastic sellouts. Um, so we'll quickly go through them then. What set is this, R. Katie? So on the website, you'll find this under number two. OK, I love those. Uh, then we've got set five, which is this one. And then coming down to the bottom, here's set six with our lovely fairy windows. I love that. And then moving along. Set nine is the next one, set eight, set ten. Oh, do we still have this one? Did it bounce back? Oh, limited stock it is. OK, limited stock. And then number 14. As you can see, some of them have got some fantastic little um, uh, sentiments on them, which, of course, you can absolutely mix and match. Now, right, OK, you have only got at home five minutes remaining. That is it to get your happy hour deals. They have so we've had so many sellouts. It's been such a lovely, busy hour. Look at this on the screen. Just 10.99. So basically for two. There you go. Um, right, so thank you very much, Charmaine. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, lovely. Are we going to see Charmaine very quickly? Oh, bless you. We, oh, she got her camera set up and we've lost her. Um, anyway, that was Charmaine joining us live via Skype. As I said, if you pop it in your basket now and check out, we will honour the price. What a fabulous hour. Don't go anywhere. More after this. Coming up after the break, we have got the Matthew Palmer One Day Special. I had such fun painting in that, I really did. Then we've got the Sentimentally Yours Second Anniversary and an Embroidery with Dizzy and Creative. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this 
was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion